Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> See, dude, Ryan is so excited just comes in for me. the sus guest. I love that, man. Maybe. Hey, well, thanks for, having, thanks for coming on this one, man. Sweet. It's been a while since I've seen you. It's been a especially long time since y'all hung out. Yeah, right? man. Uh, it, it's been almost, like you, like you said, literally over a like year. Over a year and a half. Oh, yeah. Maybe longer. Like a tropical vibe. Is it's it good, vibe? dude. You know what? It's a little, gives me like tea vibes. Yeah, I think, that, I think that's how they caffeinated, dude. They put tea Not, in that. Is it? No, it's non carbonated. Oh, uh, you know, it should be. I think it was until I threw it at you. No. It <laughs> oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, dude, it lost all its carbon. It's, it's perfect. Now. It's, uh, is it perfect? It's perfect. It's it's what's like up, dude? Tea. It's like tea, bro. Well, no, uh, like well, welcome back, everybody. This is our second guest we've had on the pod. Yeah, or if you, call, if you want to count Paul twice, it'd be a third. Yeah, I guess he was on twice. Yeah, he so. was on twice. But no, I'm excited. This is, this is a good one. Oh, it's going to be a good one. That's going to be a real good I got, one. I, got, I want to ask you, bro. It's, like I said, it's been a hot minute. I know there's some, we've been, since you've come through the door, we've been retaining ourselves, so catching up and, and talking. That's the hardest part. Um, first, uh, let's address the elephant in the room. What the f*** is that? <laughs> okay, this, so, so is before this, this. You're actually pretty good at rapping. This, okay, okay this yeah, took you, this took a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> like, a really long time. Yeah. But the rapping paper's sick. Anyways, so, like, we're cool. Yo, I think so, right? Yeah, we're cool. If we're not, if we gotta not talk, cool, let's, bro. Let's, let's squash oh, beef. Let's squash and beef from a long time ago. So this is a boxing, right here. Oh if you man, want, bro! What if the you want, will you hold this for one second? Yeah, sure. Okay. Like, so <laughs> bro, it's been a year and a half. Bro. This is yeah, a, it's, it's, a great it's been a little bit. Listen, listen, I'm just kidding. It's another gift. <laughs> <Are you fucking>? <laughs> <laughs> but for you, this is one. This is one. Okay. Okay, and this for, is for also for the listeners. For you. This is uh, okay. Is it? Are we ha- handling like deadly animal? Okay. Do we need Do a glove on? for this present? Yeah, we can go ahead and put them on. Okay. okay. I feel like we're so we have first. a small box and a big box here, both containing different Do you have goggles items. for this? Do we need goggles? No, no goggles. No goggles. This is great. Like, Ryan's running the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think you guys need to either pick or rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and then you pick. I'll take the little one. I want the little, little one, bro. One. No, no, no. I want the little one. We rock, paper, scissors for it. Okay, so you guys right. both want the little one. Rock, rock it out, bro. No, you all can right. ha- actually no. You can have it. You can have the little one. You got the little one. I'm sure there's something great in there. You got okay. the little one. Okay, okay, all right. I'll take it. Okay, you okay. Got little one. Little one, and you get the big one. Okay. I think we should open up one at a time. Okay. You go first. I go first. You go first. Damn, I mean, before you do this, though, you, did y'all actually have beef? No, no, no. Beef no we love oh, beef, bro. I was gonna say we need to get into that. Damn. Wait, yeah, more than. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold up. What? One at a time. Yeah, stop opening it. My bad. You tell. Anxious, bro. I love presents. Oh, God. Why couldn't it have been just, like, something regular off Amazon? It's not. Okay. <laughs> what <Ryan>. is it? <laughs> Don't worry. Wait, hold I up, I got bro. another one. Oh, <laughs> shit. God, you need to open up first. Me? Yes. You hang tight. <laughs> you hang tight. <laughs> bro, you're... <laughs> Why do we have gloves on? <laughs> if this is like, Here, if there's like, I'm, f- I'm if, there's, <laughs> if there's nothing at the bottom of this, and you had us put on f- gloves, <laughs> and don't have like, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's another package. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So now there's two packages. You expressed to us that you thought of this idea last night, and oh, it was yeah. so great, and John this is it so far. Me last night, like. Like, close to midnight, and I was, I saw the text, I was like, dude. Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> what? Just open it. Okay. Okay. okay you, no, first. you hang All right, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait. Hang tight, okay. You, you open up first. Looks like you struggled with this one. This one was a, it was a challenge. There's no way. For all the lizards, no, Ryan just had us open through. up a big package, a <laughs> medium-sized package, and now we're on to a little one. If I was a f- Batman, there's probably another f- box in here, dude. All right, you go now. Wait, hold no, on. it's no. you, bro. Keep going? Oh, wait. <laughs> Did you forget which one's away? You need to open up first, okay? You need to open up first. Uh, open this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? This is f- I wild, forgot bro. what I put in the box. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. I was excited for a second until I realized that's probably not this what's in there. Dope. This is dope. Here. <laughs> why do I? F- why do I feel like that's? There's not a. F- I love a Cronark, but right? I don't think I'm getting one. It's even better. You're not getting one. It's even better, bro. 
This is an inspired reel. I literally bought it because of you. Like, what is it? Dude, it is a Cronark. <laughs> no, it's a Metanium. Oh, oh it's a Metanium. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude, Ryan. This reel has yeah. been through so much shit, like with me. Are you actually giving? Yes. Or. I should have taken that box. Or we can give it to someone in the comments. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I picked that package. Well, it is Brent's gift. But, you know. <laughs> All right. You, you decide what you want to do. This is, this is my baby. It's been in the Amazon with me. Caught wow. a 19-pound peacock on this. It's been... So, it's yours now. Wait, Holy seriously? Dude, serious that's now. so nice. No, like, you're dead serious. I'm dead serious. It, it could have been a viewer's, but you're greedy, so it's all good. <laughs> Nick, he ain't say it like that. I gotta <laughs> give it to him. It is a great reel. That is a how tough about, one to give away. Just put it right here. That's yeah. a tough one to give away. So. Yeah. No, I... So, sure. so that's a game-worn. That's a... That's a <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sure. Sure. I swear that gets their attention up. People love that. <laughs> people love it. Dude. When, they, when those first it's came ASMR. out, when those first came out and people started using them, <laughs> people would that'd be like the number one comment. I bought it because the if I knew they made cheaper ones to go, I would have bought the cheaper one. But this is five hundred dollars. Expensive, dude. Okay, so now <laughs> let me let me hold this for you, brother. Okay, actually, yes. Also, the gloves. I was just to throw us off, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unless I've got something. Dead <laughs> I was gonna say. Okay. He got the good gift. Okay. <laughs> I pray to God there's not a Mach two in here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. That's... <laughs> Bro, no, no, fucking, no <laughs> way, dude. Instantly, instantly smelled it <laughs> and i'm okay. like okay this is why we have the gloves on I, bro i literally filmed myself today i walked out of my house <laughs> i went to the dog poop bin <laughs> and I, i'm not no. even kidding bro i was what? looking at my window and the dude picked up it was a giant golden retriever <laughs> <laughs> he dropped a load i got hit I, I put his dump in that box it was still warm. It was, it was like, it was still hot in my hand. Bro, it's still warm. I, can I felt it through the gloves. Also, like, uh, <laughs> the thought, bro, the way you described the girl. So, you know, there was something good and there was something bad. And, oh. Oh, sorry, man. Oh, my God. I did you dirty. Thank you, Ryan. Dude, that was amazing. You, you're it's amazing. Made, it's the Christmas spirit. Thank you, bro. Oh. Oh, wait, yeah. I, barely, I barely touched it. I uh, it. As soon as I opened the box, I was like, dog shit. I've owned, I've owned dogs my whole life. I'm like, that's a Wow. Dude, that is hilarious. See, I was like, I was like, I saw his gift, and I was like, there's no way there's a on this next one. I look at him like, I'm like, a metanium. <laughs> wow, so a metanium DC and dog Honestly, the Luz Mach 3. That is like 0 to 100 right there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think it's very, you're not familiar with Luz, are you? No. Okay, good, because I was going to say the Lose Mach 3 might as well have been just a pile <laughs> dog when you bought the real originally. That's Buy really it, but Well, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's awesome, dude. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I am so happy I well, got the tiny bro, box. I think it was heavy, too. I was like, yeah. Dude, you chose wisely. Well, I, I, I honestly forgot what one had the shit in it. <laughs> and I, wait, I, I shook. I, I was like, no, you open up first. I thought you had the shit in it. Dude, the, the <laughs> until I picked up yours, I was jiggling it, and I was like, oh, shit. You have the, <laughs> the idea of I'm like imagining you <coughs> like concocting this idea and running out of the no, park. No, I literally thought of this like like I mean like, podcast is like oh, this would be fun. You're just you're just wrapping a pile of shit in Hello, or no, it, not Hello how, Kitty, you know how My Little Pony. Embarrassing it was to walk outside and I saw the golden retriever. The dude was wearing like a green shirt. He's walking his dog in the distance, and I'm just like just looking at him as hey, I'm. Can, are you done with that? This warm. Yeah. Like, are you done with yeah, that, are you sir? Done with this? <laughs> sir, can I can I the have car this? Literally drove by. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> your neighbor's like, yeah, he's f back at oh, it again. Man. Like, he's just. It was definitely not the first time. So you think your neighbors think you're you're collecting dog now? For the garden, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, just for your homies. <laughs> That's what you're <laughs> doing. Wow, dude, what a f intro. I, I feel like this has got to be one of my favorite pods. I don't so think you've far. ever been gifted a metanium, and I don't think I've ever been gifted a. No, pod never. Also. Like this is such a baller reel. Not only that, I think you should catch something for your pond with it. I, th yeah. That would be sick. I don't really ever fish, uh, fish Left lefty, hand? and I want to. Dude, I want no, to really a, bad. That's a very good reel to learn on. Oh it my. literally does not backlash. No, it's a wicked reel. Mm -hmm. That's so sick, I brought, bro. I, I brought one of those in the Amazon too, and it's. I love deadly. that reel, Which man. Is that? Let me see this. Let me see this hoe. This is the same one. Is it not? Same one? Yeah, is it the 151 so. or something? I don't even so know. So how big <clears> of a peacock <throat> did you catch on that? 
So I got to the. This is the first time I went in March. Yeah. And yeah. I brought a Trank 300, and I bought and I brought this. Mm-hmm. And there were some like dudes from Canada, <clears> and they literally destroyed all their stuff. And like he was trying to buy myself out for me. I was like, dude, you could literally just fish this. I gave him this to fish for like the week. But my first day, <laughs> I caught a good one on it. I think it was like a 17 pounder. And I gave oh, it to wow. him. Good one. He caught a 17 <laughs> on it, and like so much fish, dude. Like. So it's it was pretty cool. That's some that's some that's got some damn juju. Hooked on my it. first pyar on this. He hooked pyar on it, <clears throat> and I've caught tons of bass. Actually, I I bought this reel on a YouTube video years ago, and like the whole premise of the video was yeah. buying my dream bait caster at Bass Pro Shops, yeah. and here it is. Now. You used to not be able to get those. That's you had, so used to for real had to get those on eBay or get them shipped from Japan. Yeah, no, I, I, I never had I enough and, money to get like, one of these. All the Bass Pros, they had it. Hopped in the car, picked it up. So yeah, I always wanted one. I never had good. enough money. Um, tits. It's so they sick, bro. Just be lucky you didn't get that pile of dog, son. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm stoked. No, you're like, I'm surprised you didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm a little traumatized. Oh over here. man, it's just nicely sitting in the door. I'm gonna f-ing forget about it. <laughs> we're gonna forget about that, and we're gonna wake up in the morning. Like, what the f-? smells like? Shit. Up the canal in the front yard. That'll do it. Yeah, hell yeah. That'll get the it. tilapia going. Yeah. They love. Don't they? Yeah. Speaking, mm-hmm. speaking about the canal, I caught my first snakehead I today. Yeah, yeah, I was so happy, bro. Congrats, yeah, that was sick. That was sick. And then I went and I lost three more. Uh, really? Following that one. It makes me feel a little bit better because when I fished with you last, it was uh, no, that was painful. These are Dude, hard to that, hook, that bro. Was, that was a grind, bro. That was a grind. Spot hopping like crazy, but it didn't feel like a grind. It felt like it was a really easy it, day. No, <laughs> Honestly, well, it, like it started off very. Simple. It started off very wrong. Bro, if you would like to see a grind, come fish with me in Texas. I'm down. <laughs> okay, I do. No, I, I wouldn't down. be down. What you I say? Wanna, I want to yeah. go to the cold, bro. Yeah. I want to go in the cold and fish. You can stay with me in my bedroom or at my house. Uh, actually, oh, you got a full house. Brent, you know, Brenton's got a full f- house. Yeah, but I have an open beds spot next to me. Oh, I mean, you. is there a couch? That's all you need. No. No couch. No. no. I was the is only there, like, Is there like a floor taken. for like newspapers I could just lay on? Or? No, I like for us to be able to. Because then, you know, I want to make you feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. He's talking about cuddling, bro. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Take me up on that. We, we could try. Y'all just reconnected. We could try. It, it, you know, we got to. Ryan a minute to ease yeah. back into the relationship. Yeah, it's been. You, you hurt me. <laughs> we got we got to we got to see how things go. I was really hoping y'all had some beef. You brought the box in. <laughs> I was the like, no, bag. I don't have beef, bro. We are all good. Damn, no, bro, can y'all make some beef up for the title? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, my sister. That's it. <laughs> doesn't even have a when well, y'all don't no, even. No sister. You actually have a sister, but uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, she's uh she's eight. Okay. So. Oh, I take that. That's a, that that is right. a case. Sorry guys, that is Sorry, a guys. case. I meant like I meant like Brent. <laughs> Ryan's sister. I knew your sister was eight, dude. That's not where I'm going, run bro. all the way back. Where's that dog? <laughs> eat it. Bring it back over here. I'm a <laughs> idiot. I'm sorry. I, you know, I'm warm up the pan. <laughs> yeah, warm. Just smash it down. Make some pancakes. Bro, I'll do some dog. Sashimi. Any maple syrup. You won't even Give me know. some of that German Shepherd sashimi. I guarantee they feed that dog bougie shit. It might taste good. It might. Uh, as long as it's probably dude, not half bad. You're telling me you've Healthy never problem. tried like like cow. Yeah. No. F- no. What is are wrong you with you? What are you talking about? So you At least some of you have it. You bro. saw Come it on. and you you, you really grabbed it, ate it. It's like straight grass. Come they on. You just eat grass. What bro. are you talking about? So you did try okay, that. You've so never eaten dog sh- or you never eaten cow. Sh- I've definitely picked it up and like <laughs> thought about it. Uh, dude, it's literally grass, bro. <laughs> he goes. I've you've never, never ate. I, I, I've never. You know no, it's fine. We don't judge. It's fine. Continue. What does it? What does it smell like and taste like again? Oh, I can't tell you what it what it tastes like, but I guarantee no, you it okay. tastes like like grass. Good stuff. Grass, that's, like salad. That's bro. all. Like they straight eat. spinach. That's a problem. That dog's probably getting into some things. You know, he probably someone dropped a, I don't know, like a piece of bacon on the floor. He's eating that. But yeah, I see where you're coming from, dude. Cow is probably pretty straightforward. <laughs> it's probably just. <laughs> so you're like on the I'm train play, to try? I'm lean okay. very heavily into devil's advocate I'll tell you mindset the here. Thing I've ever ate on YouTube. Okay, on YouTube. Yes, on YouTube. Like yeah. years ago, when I was literally like just trying the most viral things to to, to do. Oh wow, you were throwing so the kitchen sink at it. We went iguana hunting. Oh boy. And we oh. caught a pregnant female iguana. Oh my. F- bro, you okay. ate her babies? We ate the eggs. No way. Imagine ping pong balls that are squishy. Straight yolk. Dude, I, I whipped up. It was good. Uh-uh. Oh, you cooked it. It was good. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we cooked it, bro. Oh, like, okay. That's fire. Onions and bacon and spinach and peppers. I made a freaking omelet, dude. So there's Cheddar no there's cheese. no sh- there's no hard shell like an egg like a like no, a chicken dude, egg. No, dude, straight like you literally squeeze out the yolk. 
it was, that's a little fucking weird. It was, it was uh, gross because like I knew what it was, uh-huh. and like, but it was pretty good. So like, straight straight out the cloaca into the frying pan into Ryan's mouth. Into Ryan's mouth. Farm to table. Tree to table. McDonald's grass to table. Miami dirty canal to table. Exactly. That's what's up. It, it was it was sick, dude. Like you can't get more urban than how the video do. Garbage. Oh, that hurts. Like maybe five five thousand views. I don't know. <laughs> oh. And then we tried to eat a clown knife fish, which you know was actually kind of lame. Like I literally like filmed and edited it, and the night before someone else did it before me. I was like, no way. Who did it? Catch them all. <laughs> I was about to, I was about to say, let's go f- them up. I'm not, I'm not f- that guy. Up. I'm not f- catch them all. Up. No, let's go. That, f- them that up, was bro. interesting, dude. It was literally. I've never had so many bones in a fish. Oh, really? How do, you fillet, how do you fillet that? There was no filleting it. I think the the way that you need to do <laughs> is actually. The pan. Oh, it was so bad, dude. Ooh. Like I faked it. I was like, <laughs> I, I was like, this is good. That it surprises was, me. It was disgusting, man. It was so nasty. Dude, we have a clown knife named Schmeet, and I, oh, I've Schmeet? never I've never thought about if eating him. It, dude, I think you should do it. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's some recipes, man. Like they sell them in the Asian markets. <laughs> I think. I, if Schmeet rolls over one day. I am a very open-minded person when it comes to food. Oh, I love food. You don't say. You started this whole conversation off with, have you ever eaten <laughs> cow <laughs> bro? <laughs> you, that goes without being sa- said, dog, but I appreciate you clarifying that you're an yeah, open-minded that- person when it comes to cuisine. So going to Brazil, you probably try. You're probably just trying everything. I mean, you're eating People, oh, yeah. all the above. Off the ground and being like, oh, and they're like, no, Brian, yes. that's not food. Put and he's that like, it down. could be edible. <laughs> so the, the, the weirdest thing, I think, it was Colombia, actually. So... We went to Columbia pretty recently, and there was, like, cacao. Um, Which is really bitter, right? It's very... It, what what it is that? Semi, like, it's what like they what make they chocolate, make chocolate out, of. out of. Yeah. Oh, it sounds so, dope. Yeah, no, it, it was it was interesting. <laughs> it, like, it, you know, I ate it, and I was like, maybe, like, maybe I convinced myself to like it, but it was interesting. Well, it's like, it's like 100% dark chocolate. Yes. No, much. it's very rich, yeah. but it's not, like, sweet. But it no. does have that chocolate... Okay. Like taste. Like a Hershey's bar's got a f- ton of sugar in it. That's what makes it This is it like good. straight up good. Interesting. Like you're in the jungle, you're like, why not? Well, I think there's a there's a there's an element of just feeling like you're getting it straight from the source too. Like yeah, you're, you're, that's you're getting cool. it from the from the source or whatever. Speaking of which, did you guys run into any um cuz you went to Colombia, right? Mm-hmm. Twice? Twice. The first time was definitely not as sketchy as the second. Did you see any cocaine while you were down there? Ooh, yes. Yeah, um, so I've heard a lot about that. I didn't see it, but my buddies Jake and Carl, the last three days, we had an option. We we're like, you can you can backpack through the woods. You can either take this, you can take this pack and run it for us, <laughs> or or you can fish for peacocks. And they give you the option. All right, we know you're here to fish, but here's another alternative. We'll give you five like, k. It's like in a game where it's like you pick your you pick like Look, pick you can beat. literally pay for your trip right now and some. <laughs> <laughs> you just run this, this down package, the river. Don't see anything and run away really fast. <laughs> so, but um, they ended up hiking into the jungle. They had to carry a boat, carry the motor, everything. Like like it was like a three eight plus hour hike. They saw Whoa. like monkeys and crazy stuff. I honestly wish that I did it, but I didn't because I chose to fish for big catfish. Which You're talking about where like the refinery where they make the cocaine. They ended up sleeping in an old cocaine rat cocaine lab, and there wow. was literally wow. cocaine plants everywhere. It was like it's like a pa- big palm leaf, isn't it? Or I that I, off. I honestly don't even know. But, but, but yeah. they were there and they saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they were like? They came back off the hill and they're like, "We saw it. <laughs> <laughs> it was there." Oh, man. <laughs> like, it, I, I feel like it might have been one of those things, like like being like a like in, in there as like a gringo from the United States, being like, "Yeah, I want to go check that out." But once I'm in there, I'm like, "Yeah, it kind of just." It's like you know any any other like little. I mean. Dudes are probably doing that on the bridges around here in West Palm and Miami. It's like if you want to go see that, sh- it's just right down the f- road. But that stuff's not that stuff's nasty. Down well, here. this Uber no. driver. I'm tell you, I've never tried it. The, but, yeah. I had this Uber driver. He, he reminded me of you the other day. Okay. I, I missed our flight on the way to Florida, and so I had to call an Uber to go back to the house. <clears throat> and we're just driving. It's completely silent, and out of nowhere, he goes, "Man, in Colombia." You can either go to, you know, there's two places you can fly into. One's got really good hookers. And the other's has the best cocaine. I haven't said one <laughs> word to this guy the whole car ride. That was his intro. And that, that was Dude, his. I had an Uber drive, driver the other night. I literally thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to die, bro. Like, I was like, this is Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, I'm not <laughs> even kidding. So, this Uber driver picked me up. I, like, in, 
I don't know if you've been there. Yeah, um, yeah, it's right where Paul lives. Okay, so Maybe, it's like yeah. Yeah, literally yeah, we, yeah, pitch black, literally. dude. Like, there's nothing. This Uber driver, bro, he, he gives me this face. I'm looking to the camera and do it. Ready? <laughs> you shouldn't shotgun? Like this. No, I'm going to do it to you now. Ready? <laughs> can, can you do it to That's me, it, too? No, ready? I'm going to do it to you. <laughs> That's an interesting <laughs> one. Yes, dude. And, and, and uh, I get in the car, and, like, dude's mad weird. He, it, like, like, one of the first things he said is, like, is there a gas station around here? Like this. And I'm like, uh. Oh, my god. Like, yeah. Like, dude, I literally was, like, like texting my friend. I was like, dude, I'm going to die. Like, what the heck? Why do you ask It that? was terrifying. I, I don't know. But ended up. He was trying to small he had, talk. He had a very. He's from Turkey. He had a very strong accent. Mm. It just freaked me out. He ended up being super nice, but I thought he was going to kill me. Because that look he gave me when yeah, I got bro. in, I was like, dude, I'm dying. Uh, yeah, I bet I'm a lot. Like, bro, I'm like, bro, I, I, I swear. Bro. I'm like this. I'm sitting. I'm just like watching him. And I was ready to just choke him or something, uh-huh. dude. Like, you could I, probably could have taken him. Oh, for sure. I mean, like. Little Turkish, to, little Turkish gentleman. He was a bigger Turkish gentleman. He was a big Turk- Turkish bro, gentleman. we had the same Uber driver, no. Ryan. No. Really? <laughs> Out of We got in the car. Stop it. Guy looks weird as fuck. In the first a van, first, th- holy, <laughs> sh- bro! First thing he asks us is, "Do you know where a gas station is?" And I'm like, "If you go up here, go left, dude." And we had to go to the gas station. I've never had an Uber You're driver lying. ask me that before. No, I, s- bro, I swear. Wait, when was this? This was maybe three weeks ago. When was your Uber driver? It was, was it was, one? maybe five days ago. No, for sure. So hang on, why was he asking you where the gas station is if he already knew? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I, I was very, very... Huh. Oh, I, and the other thing I forgot, he just kept going on... Tan- like, 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 he was like, this way? And I'm like, no, this way. Like, you have the directions right here. It says, go this way. He's trying to go this way. He's trying to get you lost. Dude. Oh, he's trying I to was, take advantage. I, I, I'm so serious. I was sitting with a clenched, like, fist, ready to clock him, dude. Wow. Clock him. <laughs> wow. Yeah, dude. Dude, let me see if I can find this guy, like, in my app, like a picture. <clears throat> yes, yeah, yeah, it should be in your history, is it not? Oh my I mean, gosh! Well, here's so. the thing. You said you said he was probably pretty nice, and he seemed nice no, there at the end. But yeah, I, 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 nice. I'm sure a lot of folks said that about Jeffrey Dahmer too. He had a sweet smile. The man was so kind and so nice. And then yeah, oh, we saw that panned out. Yeah, I mean Jesus. <clears throat> I never had any. Oh, I've never had any Uber drivers where I felt like I was in danger. I've had Uber drivers where I've wanted to punch the person because they wouldn't <laughs> shut the f- up. But I've never. I've like it's been like 4 a.m. and they're hyped up on Adderall, Ritalin, and all they want to do is talk. And I'm on my. F- flight to somewhere cold and they just want to they want to tell me about their day and i'm like bro my day is just getting started i don't want to hear about yours oh it just I'm shows good. dates and stuff doesn't show a picture of them it was it was that's terrifying. annoying well it sounds like you I might do have enjoy a- um uber drivers though like i, I kind of like cause i i just really like to like listen to people and like ask questions oh. so like here i here i am saying just shut the f- up. No, no, no. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> and, you're, I, I feel and Ryan's like, I'm all about the experience and getting to know people's stories. And I'm like, bro, Please if you even open your f-ing mouth on this 4 a.m. flight to DFW, I'm, gonna I'm going to throw Dunkin' Donuts gonna, in your face and throw hot coffee. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna let you eat all five of my f-ing knuckles. I'm literally going to take this dog <laughs> smeared on your window. Yeah, let me save that, by the way. Next <laughs> Uber. Freeze it. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know this by experience? How long will it keep? Um, that, well, when I kept Well, throw it in the fridge. Uh, throw it in the fridge. Uh, that way we can <laughs> save it for longer. It <laughs> and then you're like, get TSA. What is this, sir? You're getting arrested. Do you think so for dog? You never know what they're feeding that golden Or he's like, uh, Bill, come down, come down here and take a look at this. <laughs> he's like, come down here and take a look at this sh-. Literally, this sh-. <laughs> Um, Brent, do you... We, we, uh, we try to... Try to come prepped. I did. I, I yeah. wrote some stuff down actually for us to to go. Not over. that it's really. I don't. I don't want to get in the habit of making this too, this podcast too formal. But there are some times where we get off <laughs> on. Tangents. I mean, we literally talked about eating cow shit. Yeah, like that wasn't impor- part it's of just, the plan at all. But you know, it's buds with benefits. So absolutely, dude. There's lots of okay. Benefits. One of the things was your car got broken into. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh, that was. That I was remember something. seeing that. Mm-hmm. So was that fun? Well, the thing that's annoying, the, the, the thing that's annoying, <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to go into any, anything like, like YouTube beef, but there is a YouTuber that I do have beef with. Oh no, please. Oh, can go. you please announce the name or can you tell us and we, wanna, we bleep it I'll, out? I'll show you pictures. I'll show you pictures. Okay. Okay. The most recent beef with him is basically trying to steal my cameraman twice. Mm. And that's happened before with me, but it was because they were just too nice and had no idea. Yeah. Brandon Jordan tried to do that with oh. Blackwell. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Said yeah. to look it off. Keep going. No, yeah. and, and that, that's totally fine. But like I addressed it to him the first time. Poor I was like, Brandon. 
what? what What's wrong? What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? Anyways, back to the YouTube I thought beef. we were talking about back poor Brandon. Beef. No. Yeah, he tried, he tried to slide <laughs> in the DMs of, of my cameraman twice and... You know, basically, like sexually or wanted to hire him? Well, wanted to hire him for more than what I'm paying him. <laughs> okay, gotcha. And, uh, you know, he declined the offer because we kind of want to build this thing together. And uh, hotline blinging. But anyways, another YouTuber made a video. Like, his truck legit, like, legit got broken into. And, like, he claimed, like, they stole his and, like This other guy? Yeah, and yeah. they got tons of views. And, like, um, oh, I see it, it, just never, it never actually got happened. Kind of stuff got stolen. But. Anyways, that's kind of maybe me being like petty, but that's not, fine, not, not really. You can go into it. It's all right. Listen, I don't know if I don't know if the podcast or the podcast went up. Brenton went in on some other guy the other day. And it's all good. You want to know who it is? It's all love. Caleb, can you bleep this out? Uh, that kid. Oh. I hate that kid. Not we're not gonna. Fan, we're not off cam. We're gonna go out into this, but yeah. Dude, that, that, Brenton will tell you all fan, about it. Uh, trust me, bro. I've had my own. Yeah. But continue with your okay. story. So, I don't want to get it. Cause don't Brandon let me will, go. Don't let enough. me go, John. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Keep hey, reel going. it in, brother. Reel it in. We're good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, my truck got broken into. Was, I went to Tampa to go hang out with some with some friends and fish for tarpon and stuff. And uh, basically, booty call, went to the hotel <laughs> and parked everything. I parked in a very safe spot. And, yeah. you know, like, under, under it's, it's like two in the morning, bro. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like, I don't have to take my camera stuff out. And it's heavy. Like, I'm focused about I'm the booty fine. call. I'm gonna be fine. Also, too, booty call, bro. Your mind like, that's on priority. The, on the booty call. You're like, <laughs> exactly. I would have, I got a perpendicular park. This in a parallel parking spot <laughs> in the middle of the road, and it wouldn't even <laughs> matter. But yeah, sure, keep going. <laughs> so basically, everything went great. We, uh, okay. Anyways, um, <laughs> knock at the door. Four. 40 in the morning. Alarm was set to five. I was like, oh, I just had a bad feeling immediately. And I opened the she door. She, she goes to open the door because actually her, her, it dude, wasn't a her, he, she, she, she no, no, no. Okay. So li- listen, I'm gonna address this right now, brother. I am straight <laughs> as a pencil. Okay. I'm straight as a pencil. I know that. I know you are a little, and maybe we can work on that, bro. But anyways, um, knock on the door. Her, her dad and like family is there. She was actually there for a pretty sad reason. Like her mom was, was battling cancer. ended up passing away. Unfortunately. Oh my so God. You know, <laughs> dude, I'm not listening, bro. Like, I, I, <laughs> Get it all. Okay. Camera stuff stolen. Here we go. So <laughs> knock on the door. I thought, look, knock on the door. I was like. I was, like, I was like, oh my god, it's her dad. I run to the bathroom <laughs> and I hide. <laughs> she she's, goes to the door, opens it, and it is the cops. And they said, is the owner of a Ford F-150, a white Ford F-150 here? I was like, I'm like no me, no way, bro. Yeah. I knew instantly. And not only that, I had my, my laptop, all of my hard drives, all of my footage. like Had been, uh, had been dumped not only on that, backup like, or like, anything or no? No, like oh. I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally so stupid. What so was backed all... up on was in the truck. Everything, <laughs> everything, everything was in it. Like I literally had videos of my that grandpa sucks. who passed away, like my best friend who passed away. I had like his music on there, like stuff that I really cared about. I didn't care about the camera as much as that. Luckily, it's the sentimental. Sh- the right? sentimental. Yeah. yeah. So or the work that you put into to, like the actual files. Like, it, that's what. Matters. Exactly. Yeah. So I had a, a laptop bag with all of my hard drives and everything in it. Fortunately, this guy knew what he was doing. He saw an Apple product. He left that. So I have all the footage. Mm, because of, uh, because of like AirTag. Yeah, exactly. Not AirTag, like, but like traceable. find my, find my uh-huh. iPhone or whatever. So yeah. um, <coughs> what was gone was my camera bag with an FX3 1635G Master Jeez. video mic. Thousands and thousands I literally of dollars. Oh, my gosh. You know how expensive the batteries are for this camera. They're like 60, 70 bucks a pop. I yeah. had probably 10 of those. Yeah. I, I literally mm. had 30 GoPro batteries, two Hero 8s. More like oh, and not to mention the four hundred dollar. You know how expensive these cards are for these cameras, like four hundred yeah. bucks. Like my my cards were gone in the bag, Ugh. so all that stuff got stolen. And I was like, okay, like this sucks, but there's a chance it could turn up. 
So Facebook Marketplace, boom, Craigslist. I started like hitting it, calling pawn shops. <clears throat> I actually ended up fishing that morning. Anyways, didn't catch wow. anything, but it was a lot. I'd of been fun. a wreck. I'd been like, Fuck that. I'm going no, back. No, I mean, hotel. dude, I was like, I drove all the way here, like no, whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna fish, and and I fished, didn't catch anything, but it was a fun time. Whoa. And I'm just stressed on the way home, just calling, calling, calling. Nothing's insured, so I was like, this is this could be bad. I get home, I put, and on the way home, I, I record my truck and my like, guys. This is what happened. Long story short, that night. I see this dude's hand on my camera like this for sale. FX3, $3,000. His dirty ass fingernails. I actually, we could bleep out his name, but his name on Facebook is. So he's like, dude is tatted up everywhere. Oh, boy. oh yeah. Life. And like, I'm calling my boys and, I, and, and, they're, and they're like, bro, let's just link up like, and, and let's go get it back. And I'm like, I'm not putting anyone in danger for this. Yeah. So. There's a detective <clears throat> on my case, and we tried to create a whole sting operation. Literally three days, no sleep. Like I'm just, I'm like, please, let's get this back. Let's get this back. As the cops are going to the sting, because they're like, they're they're gonna meet him to buy it, yeah. and they're they're updating me after sending serial numbers, everything that they needed. Um, he took down the Facebook Marketplace ad, blocked everything. I called my friend. She went and she checked. His Instagram story, because he hit his Instagram story for me, because he went in the foot in the camera, on, and I'm like, "What's Sold up, guys? It's Ryan is fishing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he saw who I was. He knew yeah. who I am. Yeah. Um, well, this and, guy does this for real. Oh no, no! And five cars got broken in that morning. I'm the only one that got hit. He also stole my wallet, had a couple hundred bucks in cash, and all my cards and, oh. and my address. Actually, that's probably how he found out who I am. It's also um, a huge inconvenience, bro. Huge like, inconvenience. Yo, what the f- um, bro. Um, but like the the thing that sucked about it the most is I saw my camera. I knew. Where it was. It was right there. It was right right there. there. And we were getting so close. He took down the ad and then on his Instagram stories, a boomerang of his hand and it's $3,000 in cash. And he's like, he's like easiest three K I've ever made like on Fornum. I'm like, bro, that's my, that's my money. That's mine. But you know what? i truly believe in karma. At first I was super depressed about this and I was like, you know, this is a lot, a huge dent in the bank account. And like, I was like, you know, channel is kind of garbage. Like, anyways, maybe I should just, I should just do something else. And like, I, I I've had the, that feeling about YouTube for a while, but up until recently, I'm, I decided I really do want to chase this dream and just go hard again. But well, like, not even chase it, but just kind of uh, re find a way to gain that love back again because you've yeah. already. I mean, this is not something that you've. I don't think you've necessarily lost, but maybe you. It's just in this kind of null period where, exactly. and for whatever and reason, that happens, exactly. bro. And like life happens. And dude, I don't blame you if if you know YouTube channel's not doing good. You get your shit broken into. Just so happens the night that you got your shit broken into, you had so much footage on there, camera equipment. Like, mm-hmm. it's it's very, hard, bro. Very easy for reality to to settle in and be like, okay, f- this. Maybe this is the world telling me I'm not supposed to do this. Maybe I go back to school or if you're you know or, or or maybe i get a trade or or i just go pursue some other passage or, or, or you know passion as like an entrepreneur mm-hmm. um so my question to you is like what how, how the fuck did you bounce back from that because not too many people and even myself included so i don't know how i would have approached this is actually a crazy story um basically the videographer i'm working with right now like i met him because i saw a little project he did for this smaller youtube channel what's like, his name by the way his name's adrian cool how do He's from Plug him, yeah. Yeah, That's Adrian cool. Paluskevich. His Instagram is Dubzilla Buble. Not even kidding. It's Dubzilla Buble, which in, <laughs> in Polish means oh, it's Polish? love for fishing. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's dope. I yeah, like this. Dubzilla cool. Buble. A- no, Adrian's awesome. I wish I you could be here right now. I thought it was some sexual stuff, man. I was like, whoa, <laughs> careful. Can we Don't say interpret that? like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I came in contact with Adrian. We already had stuff planned. He was coming down to Florida like, like four or five days after that happened. So like... I was like, dude, my camera is gone. Like, like his flights are booked. Like, like maybe this is a sign. Like, we That's just cool. get. Like, let's just go for it. So he came to Florida. Actually, before he came to Florida, I just went down to ABC Camera Shop in Miami, got and just reinvested. I got. Uh, I already had a lens. I have a twelve to twenty four G Master. Got a Great lens, A7S three, yeah. and um, you know, we're bouncing back. So we're you got you got back on the saddle. Get back on ground. This. Yeah, you said F- this. You got back on no, the saddle. Yeah, F- this. Like, I'm not gonna let. You know, and like I, I talked to my dad about it and stuff too, and he's like, you know, maybe because I, I went, I did, I went to school, I got my captain's license because I do, thinking about doing some fishing charters here and there, yeah, just to, yeah. just to do that, and it's like maybe I should do this or do firefighting. That's what my dad did. That was kind of my my whole life plan. But yeah. you know, I truly love like 
entertaining and truly love fishing and storytelling yeah. and like I mean, I think like like I have I have a passion for it and a skill for it and dude, it's more you have the personality too, which is a huge thing. Yeah, I mean the thing is it's proven. Like even though like right now you, you know, and I'm I'm listen, I'm in a similar spot too. I won't shut the fuck up about it. Viewers are probably so sick of the self loathing, but it's like I'm in, I'm in a very similar position where it's like it's very easy to kind of get down this wormhole, and it's yes. like you, you know you don't see and a lot of what we do is numbers based, right? So it's like exactly. our ha- and and I'm not gonna speak for any of you two, but like numbers very much dictates whether or not we're happy and those numbers are specifically our our views and then you know views correlate to money and money tells us whether or not we're going to go take this trip we're going to go buy this fish or we're going to go buy this camera or hire this dude and so ultimately it's like it's more than a career path it's more of like a who the fuck am i path and for the longest time maybe i think this is comfortable speaking for you guys but longest yep. time probably who we are is what our channel is and when it's yeah. not going good or we get our shit broken into that hurts bro, well, bro that's yeah, like somebody man. come up to you and being like you're not you're not that f- guy you're not the f- guy yeah put down the camera go get a real job or whatever and, and it sucks dude and it's going like, on about the numbers thing we were talking about this earlier it's this is a really easy way to point it out is i hate that feature that youtube implemented the 10 out we'll of 10 about the feature oh my because God. so if you upload you put all your time and effort into this video and it does 10 out of 10 your day is ruined yeah. right just like that and yeah, and that's ultimately. the thing that sucks is you are so your happiness is based off of numbers a lot of the time. It is. And I would say like there's a way to fix that, but I mean in this business like it is what it is. And you can't not you can't be like oh I'm just not gonna look at it, you know. But like, and like you're gonna to, it's I your life. Wanna, you have to. I want to jump in here and also say like both of you guys put so much into your videos. Thanks, man. And, like, so do you appreciate guys, it, like, bro? Like, Thank who you. We even talked about like it's like literally. Such clickbait, such garbage, but it gets views and it's stupid, bro. Uh, like, uh-huh. and and then there's people like you and 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 you and me that like we put so much into it, and then you know you see the numbers and it's just so discouraging. But I feel like, I feel like it's part of the game, and you know YouTube will pick its person. You could be doing doing everything right, be consistent, and you're just not pulling views. I don't because- think that's an excuse though to then like edge back into like and and I and I've I've, I've succumbed to this too. It's been like. I've had this conversation with Kale before. It's like we filmed something that's, you know, it is it is well put together. The quality is awesome, and it's something that I'm happy with. It's a project that overall I think is going to do good. And let's say it doesn't pan out as to how I hope. Ultimately, though, that's something that's always going to be there. Like that's like I, I can go back and look at that. And I'm proud of it. And maybe over exactly. time it, it that will is get, good. It will get 100%. views. And well, maybe we can repackage it later. Like a lot of the old videos we've done when I worked with Blackwell was like. The videos did good prior, but we, we kind of combined them together, dropped them as a movie. That's something I would suggest with what you're doing. I mean, I know you're doing long form. Mm-hmm. That is a great idea. But like like I, long videos? Like even if there's clips that didn't make the first cut, put it in there. Create it like a really long form. Something that someone can turn on After it's on all done. The like holidays. Australia. Yes. Yes, yeah, after it's all done. Amazing film, dude. Like Throw it together. For sure. And, and that's a good thing, too, because I texted you. You posted on Instagram like a almost like the intro of your Columbia series. Mm-hmm. And I saw it, and I was like, pause i got like five seconds in i was like i gotta go start watching on youtube because awesome. i know i won't be able to see the whole thing i watched it and then i texted you right after and i was like bro like this is the type of content regardless of the views that should be on youtube and, it, and i think it will i like, think i think it, at one point in time like it'll it'll earn or it does, i mean it already earned the love it deserves and, and oh, i think yeah, it's doing it's doing very well it, no and, and the channel i think it's doing very yeah, as it should. It was such a quality piece of content. I think that's the type of stuff that and like should be said, online. Like, yeah. I'm just happy that that exists. That's something yep. that. And, and another you thing. Check that box. Check that box. Yeah, like, yeah that's like awesome. That trip is forever documented on YouTube. Like one of the best experiences of my life. Success. Like, literally, sleeping in the jungle on on a random person's floor because yeah. we can't get through the rapids. Like so much. And think crazy about how stuff. many people like, do that and then don't really document it, or if they document it, it's off like a f- GoPro Hero Four, like. You you really brought a lot of people there, and I and I know in the comments people appreciate that. They're like, mm-hmm. "Oh, f- you brought us there," mm-hmm. and then like in Breton's videos, like you brought us along with your day. Yeah, you know, doing like you you brought us into your house, you brought us in, in into your realm, and and how you do things. People really do appreciate that when you bring them somewhere, and I think that's one of the reasons why people watch. You know, like for f- like, let's say Flair's example, like you feel like you're on his farm when you're watching those yeah, videos. Yeah, sure. like that. that that is that is so key. And if you and it's it's super easy to not do that, like to not bring people there, just film a f- video and then it's whatever. Oh, yeah. And then like, they then they get on to the next. 
uh, like that. <laughs> you bleep that out, aren't you? Yeah. Can I have another beer, by the way? No, but <laughs> but that that is very true. Out. And I always say, like I pointed out, like it's such a great thing. Like if you live up north and we're filming down south, all those people can enjoy that type of content that you're making that they can't experience right now. Yeah, because so that was my season. thing personally. I'd watch like from what y'all would film down in Florida, and I'd be like. A peacock bat. Every, is, that's like what everyone talks about. It's like I'm gonna go. You, you'll hear some kid so funny, on like Christmas break. Like I'm going peacock bass fishing in Miami. You know, like that was yeah. or like or, you know that, like South Florida, and that would be their 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 highlight of the year. It's so funny because uh-huh. I literally watch like your videos and like what you're doing, and catching like smallmouth and stuff. And I'm like, oh my god, like I'm so sick of like the urban. Sh- we like, need to do we, that too. See, it throws you around. I, I, yeah, we need to check that box. That that would be amazing. He was supposed to come to Miami. You don't. No, that, that was not. I don't think that's how that went. Something about flights and them being seventeen hundred dollars, and he couldn't and pull you, the trigger. You were like, "Oh, it's not worth it, man." And I it was like, was <laughs> <laughs> "But, but I like giving you." Sh- also, I'd like to note that I asked for a singular beer, and Caleb brought over three. <laughs> Are you I'll, trying to I'll tell me a, something? No, 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 no. I'm saying thank you. <laughs> I'm saying thank you, but it, it 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 tells me a lot about what you think of me, bro. I I do. He wants one, but he's gonna ask for two more in five minutes. So. <laughs> No, dude, that is well. Awesome, I, I wrote down some more questions. That uh, that car also, dude, I, topic. Shout out us. to Caleb too. Like, he's I'm right. stoked for he's you. Right. No, I'm just yeah, he's Caleb, so like, Caleb murders you, it. It's, it's banger content, man. All right, yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 what was, it was a pause, bro. We're just like, all right, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah, yeah. Y'all are good to eat. Just bust down. So, so we got Tatiana. a few things. Uh, one of one of them being you've. <laughs> had a lot of experiences with like some bigger content creators and one of the oh, examples yeah. is like air rack <laughs> dude and bigger is an understatement <laughs> straight up like you like just pop up the video like, the Yo, top. The I'm like oh ryan's with oh wow how when you to see ryan on the elon the next elon rocket just oh, like yeah. ah, i just casually like i took ryan's elon instagram fishing. story i'm going to space <laughs> yeah that, that they're crazy how does, even, how does that how does that how does that go down for you i don't even remember how air rack and i got into contact i'm pretty sure just like shooting dms and the first time Eric and I ever linked up, we did a surviving in the Bermuda Triangle for 24 hours. Whoa. And, like, it was insane planning, like, like on my end, like, just calling everybody because I'm a boatless angler right now. And I called my buddy. We we took out his boat. We slept on the boat overnight. It was insane. Like, like everything went wrong. Like, it's cool. just a crazy video. I'm not going to go into the And details. I wasn't even there and everything went wrong. <laughs> yeah. That's wild, bro. Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> you should have had me there, man. We would have sunk the boat in the and, Bermuda Trail. And bro. after that, like, like we just became, like, like cool. And it was honestly really so, cool just picking his brain about YouTube and stuff. Like, he had a lot of cool things so to was, say. So, was the connection not fishing there? Or was it just out, like, just being in Florida? What was the conne- What was the comment uh, around he, No, Creation? well, he wanted to, to make a video, f- like, surviving in a life raft for 24 hours. So, okay. that in- entailed catching fish and to, to eat. So, we caught mahi out there. Oh, cool. Literally forgot, not a bad fish forgot to oil. To we got a lighter, so we had to set off a flare to light the propane to, to put in the skillet. Oh, we wow. had no butter or oil, wow. so we put bush beer in there and cooked it up, and it was freaking gas. Was it? It was, it was good. Beer? Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's actually solid. But, um, yeah, make do with what you got. Make do with what we got. And then we filmed another video, and this one's funny. We went and we s- tried to sneak into Rolling Loud, which is like a giant music festival. Is that in Florida? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I believe Miami. You, you did that with them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. so me and some of my, my buddies from the gym, we like who posed as bodyguards, I was like a paparazzi, yeah. So I had like my camera on and stuff, just like flashing and, like he brought other people too. Wow. And he basically posed as Justin Bieber. We tried to sneak in, failed from like four different entries. But it was honestly a really cool video once once we got it. And and since then their growth has been insane. Like he's YouTube's I, golden I boy. I don't, I don't really watch Eric or I don't really watch that many creators. Period. He started off. He, one of his big videos was oh, selling Logan Paul the couch. Right? Was that Eric? That, yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's what he that started the couch series. Yep. And yeah. I even missed something. I think, I think where it all started with us is before he hit a million subscribers, he went on an island. His goal was to hit a million like subscribers by the end of the year. So they went on an island, and and stayed on that island. Until they reached it, and I think they were like a hundred thousand subs away, and they and they achieved that in like a week of staying there. So yeah, I, I, I that. coordinated that for them, like because I was I was with my ex girlfriend up in in North Georgia, yeah. and I called my buddy John Flora, and he ended up literally just being such a G, like dropped him off on the island, wow. like bringing them food and stuff, and that like, went smoothly. That wow, went smoothly. that's awesome. And then after wow. that, they're like Ryan, like let's film a, let's film a cool video. And something cool, I actually saw them not too long ago. They came in town, we grabbed some drinks, and. 
and like we're all just like like hanging out and they're like dude just a dude like like yeah and just that's hanging cool. out with them that's a good relationship like, like no sh- to this day this is our favorite video we've ever made really yeah and i was that's like that's cool. super sick that is cool yeah. yeah so i filmed with Iraq. another cool one i filmed with was jadeon which Saw absolutely that. just that kid's hilarious man <laughs> it's what what blows me away about him he's like Probably eight years younger than me, or seven years younger than me. I think he's twenty. Yeah, so he'd be seven years. Yeah, younger he just won a streamy too, I believe. He did. He did. Yeah, I think Good he. Him, him, and, him and Speed did, I think. Yeah, I, <laughs> either he Speed, either he was Close nominated or, or he. Uh, I think he won Creator of the Year, bro. Like, no way. but he got banned off Twitch. Yeah. Dude, um, no, you know, YouTube streamy awards. That, that could have YouTube ever happened stream. for him was getting banned off Twitch. He's just. <clears throat> he's attacked that so many times it's hilarious what he does he's he, he actually a guy that i got i got i got, a, I got down a wormhole on speed i got down a wormhole on jideon uh jideon sorry i mean i'm an idiot uh <laughs> caleb and i will something like earlier on we were like saying each other from his content back and forth and it's like it, he he really walks a tightrope of you know, making it like uncomfortable for the viewer, and also making sure that it's like kind of also a lighthearted joke. Yeah. So well, mm-hmm. it, there's a lot of creators that just lean too hard to the side. Where it's like, dude, you're fucking with people, and it's like I don't like those videos. I I I don't like when when they go do yeah. too much, and then it's like just blatantly like no, but he, do, he doesn't do yeah. that. He, yeah, he doesn't do that I at all, which is awesome too. Like he was, he was. I mean, he was definitely like a little crazy. Like sure. I, I to this day, I've not walked into the tackle shop. That I brought them into because we <laughs> got forcefully removed because he asked if if the sharks were feeling non-binary today, <laughs> and, the, and the and the cashier was just like 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 oh uh, god liver king <laughs> this uh, tr- and, like trend and stuff and like some big gym dude he's like you guys need to go and I'm like bro so is that a no sir are they not feeling are they non-binary? not feeling then we went that to way? another tackle shop and they were just loving it like like dying laughing so shout out fishing headquarters they're cool that's the thing too is like bro you gotta oh, have I'm a sense the, of f- guy, yeah if great. someone came if someone gave my shot and asked if the f- bull sharks would feel non biased, i would be i would f- <laughs> you just see me disappear we're, under the counter we're, we're, out of f- spend so a good weird. amount of money in there too and and you know <laughs> it's actually man, that is money. awesome bro. homie homie gave you the nine tenants of I think the title on YouTube is Sharks Love Big Black Meat. If that if that pops up my homepage, I am smashing I'm so the fucking mouse, bro. <laughs> bro I'm smashing like, the mouse. That is being tapped. Well, uh, no, I uh, I wrote down some more things. So where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, well, that's man. Good that, that, that's Don't a, that's ask a good me that question. question. <laughs> no, I promise you know, I wouldn't bro, put you in that I'll position, honest, John. Man, like, I feel like this year... Is gonna be the biggest year of my life. That's I feel awesome. like I love that. That's I, awesome. I feel like the last two years have been the hardest of my life. Like, like I don't want to get like too negative and stuff, but yeah, uh, life has definitely thrown me through a loop, unexpected loops. Like when I was seventeen, I got a a, a, a overnight diagnosis of type one diabetes. That was like a, a whole new yeah wow. yeah a whole yeah. new lifestyle change and stuff, and you know so. I've always lived. I've always lived with that. That's something I have to manage every day, and you know, make sure that I'm healthy. I get I my blood work. That. Sorry, I definitely didn't know. That <laughs> no, it's all I'm good. So no, dude, no. we're Keep drinking beers. It's late, and anyway, You're terrible, <laughs> <laughs> John. No, that is, that is you, kind of me up. letting me know. Me letting you know that I remembered you had diabetes in the middle of your conversation was not. <laughs> Worth it, by the way. I apologize. It's all good, <laughs> keep keep going. Yeah, man. Like, I don't want to get. Oh no! I actually remember you, Davey. <laughs> Shut the f- up, man. You're an idiot. Keep going. Yeah, dude. Like basically, last two years, bad breakup, best friend tragically killed, lost my grandfather, who was everything to me, and just like man. figuring out car the direction, into, car broken into. Yeah. So I've had these things happen, and right now, um. It's I, I can tell you it's gonna be the biggest year of my life. Like I can see the channel starting to, awesome. to to gain traction again in six months. Like I want to get super <clears throat> consistent. I feel like I'm working with a great person on the channel. Shout out Adrian, and like and we I just want to keep traveling, man. Keep fishing, and just and just just do me, man. And I think that's, that's I, I, I that. guarantee. Awesome. And and like right now it's it's a bit stressful and just like figuring out like like everything. But I know like just keep grinding and and this is. It is a, it is a bit of a leap of faith at this point, but I don't, I don't want to do anything else. This is what makes me happy. It's what I love, and I think in five years, the hard work will have definitely paid off. No, that's, I love that's that. Really that's really healthy. Outlook. Yeah, and like, I, and honestly, too, like, I, I'd, I'd want to like this year create like a business plan for myself, and like, like mm-hmm. we have a little team goals. going right now, like, and 
There you and go. And working bro. with some some good brands, it, I think it's it's gonna do well. And like, I I wanna I, you know one of the things I think what from what you're telling me, or what you're explaining to us right now, it, it very much reminds me of you know moments in which you're at that rock bottom level, whether that's where you start or maybe you come up top and then you you go back down again. It, rock bottom, I use that very aggressively, but my point is, it's like there's something. That is, there's something like, it's almost like a launching pad, right? Where you just kind of like, sure, you're like, yeah. you're, not necessarily a fuck it attitude, but you're just kind of like, listen, this is an opportunity for me to kind of not really like worry about all this other I got going on. I could just, I could just be experimental. I can just throw everything in the kitchen, everything, you know, including the kitchen sink at this. And like, I've, I was talking, Brent and I were talking about this actually just earlier today. And I was like, I was telling Brent, the best thing for me as a content creator was being flat out was yeah we was, were talking was about getting, that. you know like five thousand like first couple of checks like five thousand dollars on youtube and being like holy <laughs> f and then literally going to best buy blowing it going yep. buying a two thousand gone off, blowing it gone and then being like well i gotta get that back for yep. sure i've got car, like, you know i've got car you have, you have so much drive in the corner sometimes man. uncomfortability is I, I i seriously and i know it's very very cliche to say this but but I'm speaking from complete experience, and I'm wondering if you feel this way too. I, I I do, I do. But being uncomfortable and and not knowing what next week is gonna look like is the best thing for any sort of entrepreneur, creator, you know, some anyone who is like who who is who is trying to be self-made. I mean, that's well, it, and that's and that's kind of where you're at right now. Like you're, you know, what, you're doing this, you're doing this for you. You're gonna have fun with it. You're gonna crush it. Yeah. And ultimately, dude, I think in five years, you're gonna get there if this is how you oh, sure. your mindset yeah. is oh, right for now sure like yeah. i'm i'm in that boat dude like like definitely definitely in that boat and i think i'm in a corner and the only way is up yeah that's, that's the only way i hate to say but that's because i i swear, kind of like, a beautiful spot to be. it is a beautiful it's spot perfect. to be in like oh i love that i love the the process i truly love it i'm not in this for for the money i really am not i i j literally just want to keep traveling m deliver awesome content yeah. that I'm proud of. Yeah. I want to be no, able to that. just be chilling with the homies, put this on the TV and be like, we did that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's cool. Yeah. And that's the cool thing about the content that we all make. I, I truly feel like it is super high level and like, it's just dope. And that's the stuff that lasts on YouTube. This garbage that, that we see on YouTube is not going to last. It, exactly. So you I just think, gotta keep grinding. I think so once I'm, you get yeah. to a point where you can convince yourself that this is your career path, like I think that was like a, a difficulty whenever I was starting out, which I know none of us are starting out, but I, I always was like, I had that thought in my mind, like, Hey, like what if this doesn't work? Then I'm, I'm, yeah. You know, you but the, you almost can't let you have that to fall. commit once you convince yourself that like, hey, this is the only direction. It's going to happen. It's it, going to happen. That I just was the, keep doing it. That right? was the thing. And yeah. talking about like getting a check on YouTube and literally just going to blow it like, bro, that happens so often. And it's like, oh, oh, huh. well, that's gone. So and then and, and then it's gone. You get South a park club. We can relate like then you get to a point where you have people who rely on you like a team. Right. Yeah. So then like you have to you have to provide. At that's that the point. cool thing too is like this is the first time like I think like I actually have a semi team. That right now it's only gonna get bigger from from here too. Like I obviously like just keep grinding, grinding. I could see it in the next three months. But my biggest focus right now is the next three months. But like, but like you said, bro, like it's so nice having like like people behind you because then mm -hmm. it's like you know you're not alone in this. And it's been pretty like discouraging. Like like one of my buddies, you know, Yak Pack. Like he was my like. My 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 YouTube Prime was like 2019, 2020. Mm -hmm. Like like getting big checks. I remember. Like he was my right hand man. We we're banging out videos. He moved. Yeah. Life happened, mm -hmm. and then I was like, oh, okay, I don't really have anybody to film with down here. Even even though there's, there's tons of YouTubers down here, I just kind of don't don't film with a lot of guys. Listen, but I understand. Yeah, <laughs> we can good. relate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Uh, that's kind of my mindset and uh, beautiful points. I saw a lot of success in uh, in Norm with mm -hmm. that with that whole team concept. I remember talking to him whenever he started because he's moving. I mean, he's the kid's killing it. He's doing a great job, and oh, yeah. he he owed a lot of that when I was on the phone with him to his team. Yeah. He was like, bro, it, it is it helps so much. Mm -hmm. He was like, because there'll be times where you have that mindset like I just don't want to do it today, and they just absolutely counter you, and they're like, well, yeah. you're a and and then you end up doing it right and not only that the help like there's so many times and I, I don't know how like 
I don't know how we did it back in the day. Do you guys ever think about that? Like, we uploaded so much, all of us, like, consistently. Mm. Oh, I know how and I did it. I was just a fuck off. I had no responsibility. <laughs> bro, like. I was like, living in a 4,500-square-foot 4, mansion that was paid for. I f- whipped around my shitty Toyota Highlander. And I was just like, the dude, the world, the best way I can describe it is the world's my oyster. It probably was the same for both you guys, yeah. too. I mean, also, too. It was great. <laughs> of YouTube. I mean, how long are you talking? Like, two years ago? Three yeah, years I'm ago? talking two, three years yeah, ago. Yeah, even like two years ago. I mean, four years ago. God, that was like, oh, what the? F-? I walk outside and the video is done. I'd be like, let's go, baby. When we film the next one, uh-huh. like, let's keep going. And I loved it, too. I Even aside from it being like a, you know, like a thing where I was like, I'm making money at this. I'm like, this is. It was fun, bro. I uploaded. It's still fun. It's still fun. But yeah, it's, it was very fun back then. I think I, I feel you. Like on, like on that time, you're just like those were the days. You know what I mean? And it's it's obviously different now. World's changed and stuff. But I think it's super exciting. I think we're all in a really cool time. Yeah, yeah, I think there were one year I uploaded 350 videos in a year. Holy, uh, really? Yeah, I daily. I did it for the entire year. You did. Daily. I almost did that two years in a row. Oh my god! The yeah, second I, year, I posted so many videos. videos. Do you have on your channel? Uh, I I deleted so many. No, but like, deleted or privated? Deleted. Really? I yeah, messed up my channel. From that. No, I don't. I don't do that anymore. That was a okay. long time ago. Yeah. Boy, you uh, did it on this podcast and you did your old podcast. Yeah, I did do that. I did. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, <laughs> not on my main channel though. Right. But yeah, I I have like six hundred right now. Six hundred videos. But I I think I would really have like close, close to a thousand. To, yeah, closer to a thousand. Wow. Yeah, I. That's insane. I was, wow. but I loved. I think I loved what I was doing, but I loved entertaining. I just liked picking up the camera. The ed- I loved the routine mm-hmm. of like finding what to film in that that morning, and then having to get it done by like noon so I could edit it in time to get it out. And it'd yeah, be every you, you, single you day. Posting videos at nine after they'd been edited like an hour ago is it very much reminds me of shit that I used to do. And I'm like, I look at Kale, I'm like, what the. F- <laughs> bro, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, and bro. And they're really good. They're no, seriously, they're oh, really yeah. fucking so good. So cool, dude. I'm Thank like, you, it, dude. If I had, if I had that short of a window to pump something out, it'd just be some so crust. Like bro. lighting would be. I wouldn't be interested. Yeah, it wouldn't be interested. It wouldn't be interested. I wouldn't want to do that. That's well, why I try to leave. You know, Caleb obviously takes the bone of the work when it comes to projects like this. But I've edited a few within this time period, and like, I need, I need like a day. I need like a day. I need like four hours to just do make, pump this out, and also. Like, yeah, so but to, and I, yeah, you know, you, you pump them out quick, bro, and like they're good, dude. It's like hey, thank super you. entertaining, yeah. good music, sound well, effects. I see. The thing is, is and then I look at y'all's videos, and I'm like, wow, like the length and the quality, like watching your quality, that that's the type of videos I want to make. And then other people will tell me they want to make my style of videos, and it's you get comfortable. I think is what it is. Like Why I've don't been you both. I think you, we, I think there's room. For we both. did we did the Gar video, and yeah, people loved one. that. Yeah, and yeah, it, it was make. 34. Four minutes on my channel. Well, how many I, views did that get? I think it's about to hit under K. Um, my the first Gar video well, we so did it's like though. Double what I think I got on mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the first Gar video though. we did is at seven hundred, I think. Really? And that yeah, everyone that, I, loved that. that. Was just crush. And, and I tried to really do like I put I put a lot of quality into that, but that was a day turnaround. Oh, it was, I think it was like three three hour turnaround, and it was mm. like a twenty minute video. But that, that f- you feel right? Hmm. Be honest. <sighs> No, it's an it's an it's a numbers thing. It's a quant it's a quantitative thing. It's like, no, it doesn't f- with you. No, so I I think see I when I you compare am, the two. You know, I okay. I think when I'm looking at so I'm what exactly is your question? Because well, I answered the wrong way. My question. So your first video that you filmed with Garfish and it was like your it was like, it would have been like a video we filmed today, right? Kind you pumped of. it out. It was pretty yeah. quick for the most part. Yep. You maybe put a little bit more love into it because it was a big moment. Yep. But the video that we filmed was over a three-day time period. You exactly. Put more, you put more production into it, and it did significant. It produced significantly less views. Now, but I'm much it, happier with that video. Okay, that's cool. I mean, yeah, I'm not. That's about what I'm saying though. But does it? Does the? Does the thought in the back of your head kind of mill around thinking, oh well, f- you know, here. I, and, but there's a variables. Oh yeah. There was a bigger fish. That's in the a first major. Video. That's the biggest thought. The yeah, oh, well, f- fish <laughs> in the first video. And then I think also, too, what was the other video? I had on the top of my tongue. But I think that first that video that it was what we went for, like the title really did it, too. Like if, if I were to do this. It was also before the Yeah, the, that was like the – I apparently Blue Gabe or whoever yeah, dude. that man is, um, I could I could care less, but he was so <laughs> salty. Oh, dude, okay. If we're going to talk about Blue Gabe, you don't even have to bleep, to bleep that out. Well, oh, no, dude. it was just like he posted a Gar video, and I had no idea. And apparently, it was like a big thing. That's, so what, that's what I love about Florida. Y'all are just a melting pot for mother beef, bro. Oh, like dude, all your mother bunch of cats clawing at each other's necks. 
and <laughs> Epic, I, bro. I, and during that time, like I didn't mean it. Yeah, I, I didn't mean it in any. Jay calls like the Arby's down here. Uh, I'm thinking like day old deli meat, and I'm like. You mean Arby's? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean it in any disrespect either. But like, I was out there filming doing the Gar video, and the guy I was with was like, "Yeah, yeah, Blue Gabe, his video's at like like 16 million yeah. views," and I and I had no it idea. Freaky. Like, I had no idea it was. So then my Gar video became the copycat video of Blue Gabe's, and I was like, "Bro, like, but, dude." But here's the thing, bro. I I used to think that way about YouTube too. I don't think it matters. Like, no, exactly. I, I, yeah, and like. Who even cares, dude? Like, how many videos get posted a day on YouTube? I think it's, like, 7,000. Yeah. Or some crazy sh Like, like, there's no copying, dude. No, and I think I, I the more, the better. You yeah, know, the more, the better, dude. Like, like every, your video is going to get recommended off of his video. His video is going to get recommended off your video. Do you think Do you think that's a fishing mentality, or do you think that's just a YouTube well, I think mentality? Fishing, where, pe where people get kind of, like, they get, like, they're like, oh, you're copying me. Is that, like, a, I, a part of me thinks that's just a, an appendix of fishing culture where it's, like, you know, you're fishing around my spot. You know, you're filming the same kind of video. You're posting the same kind of thumbnail. Do you think I, that bleeds into content creation? Uh, yes. Or is that just the f genre of people that are just so unfortunately happen to be on YouTube? I think it's I think it's not only in fishing, though. I think it's, like, like it's seen on the highest level, like Mr. Beast. How many mm -hmm. YouTubers make his exact thumbnail, his same exact style? But who gives a Right. And, but you know the thing Rising about the thing about fishing, yeah, most, right? yeah. The, the thing about fishing, though, you know, it, it's it's hard to 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 get. You can't make fish bite. You know, what I mean, it's That's so a big like, thing. like when you see a, a <laughs> people Bro, that you don't need to f tell me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why I'm down here. Oh <laughs> man, because it's 70 degrees, and I can walk out that <laughs> go right now and catch bass and stuff. The bass in that canal, I imagine any canal around here. I feel bad for them. <laughs> oh, they got a screw loose dog. They're just <laughs> a little suicide, a little too crazy. Oh, They're man. just crazy. They'll just throw themselves at the bait, you know? But I don't know. What you're, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, dude. I'm just saying, like, it doesn't freaking matter. I think, like, like people get way too salty on a Blue Gabe for a fact. Is is one of those people. He's had problems with me. And I don't care, man. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't my, talk to the guy. Too. He's actually blocked. I don't even. <laughs> you don't even care. Who I mean, cares? Yeah. I yeah I, in... It, it like it is what it is, but no, for sure. I think I think quality of content is a big thing. We were, we were talking about people can and no hate on them walk out their door and film on their iPhone and make a whole video and get a million views and it's like oh wow oh, that's nice. And you got to be um, careful as to like you know. But all all props to them. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, yeah, you, you that's you got you got to be careful like how, like your outlook because you because it's almost like by being salty at the person that's salty you become kind of like that person yeah no yeah i see what you mean which and is, that's the thing like uh, i've mentioned a lot of those content life. creators i i always thought it was like the the coolest thing that and i always preach this like you could literally like if you want to become a youtuber or you want to be an influencer in any way like all you have to do is pick up your phone oh like, yeah and, and that's, that's, it. that's the coolest part like, like you don't need camera you don't need any of that stuff like you literally the phone you're talking on you can make banger videos like i have videos on my channel with a million plus views i filmed off the iphone yeah hundreds of thousands of views but for for me at this point like like that's not the content i enjoy making even if it is yeah. yielding views that are making more money i would much rather just take quality over quantity no, i, 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 I enjoy that. that more it makes me happier um to transition i wanted to tell the story i think a, a great person to ha to tell the story would be um Estrada, who we fished with oh, last I, time. Oh, yeah, I love Eric, man. Florida. Yeah, Eric's a nice guy. He's an awesome dude. He's very, very welcoming to us. So I will say, like, when we came down to Florida, everyone was, you yourself including, like, everyone was super down and willing, not only to fish and help us create this content, which we very much relied on. Thank you again for that. But oh, just, yeah, just everyone was really nice, and Eric's definitely one of those dudes. I wanted to save this story for Eric, but he's never heard this story. Oh, no. Yeah. Are you really? Oh, yeah, you've been well, trying we, to save this. The, the t Shout out, Fish Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout shout him, shout out uh, whoever's boy, Fishman Joy. Is he, whose boy is he? <laughs> Somebody come get your boy, Fishman Joy. Joe. Who, who My is... dad buys bait from Fishman Joe. He yeah. always hooks it up. He looks like he's got some really <laughs> bait, man. He's <laughs> yeah. out there, bro. He's out there. He's like, out there, dude. Four thirty a.m. Always on something. Four thirty a.m. I, I love his Instagram stories. He just oh, dude. on one about everything. Oh, dude, has he been posting recently? Oh, dude. Maybe like, it's getting shadow banned on my. Because I haven't seen it. for a while there, it was just Dude, all, all it was was Fishman Joe on my. Sh I, 
He needs to start. He needs to start training. He's just a, a mess. So I will. I, will, I want to tell this story because Brenton hasn't heard of it. Do and it. I, and I told we were. You know, Brenton and I were talking about. I wish I filmed that. I'm like, I'm like man, fuck it. next time you're in Florida, you want a viral video, just go to. Ah, bleep this out. <laughs> yes. You got. You got to go to. You got to bleep my face out and everything because those Florida <laughs> jits are wild, bro. Dude. They'll, they'll f- get someone to read Braille on this video and figure out what what name of the lake I just. The amount of kids I've seen on TikTok just like throw a hot dog in there and just hook up tarpon and it, it sucks, bro. What? Like, yes, dude. Like, like it, it's literally like Robbie's oh, Ryan, having. Right, right. Pause, pause. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta okay. Tell, I gotta tell my perspective because it's so. Funny. <laughs> oh God damn it, Eric. So like, so yeah. <laughs> for real. Why would know, but for I real. know this. God damn it. Eric, like what the sh- John, bro? Yeah, I mean. I oh my god. Go. I think I think I think Eric was he was he was just pulling. Sh- he was like. This is a tough day. I'm gonna go for a hail mary. I'm gonna go for a hail. That is the hail mary. Eric, Eric was on the other team's ten yard line and just <laughs> sent a bomb in the red zone, <laughs> and it went out of bounds. <laughs> Spiral hit the ref, knocked him out, knocked the <laughs> cheerleader. Anyway, so, so like we're in Florida, and we're you know we're getting hyped on this, and I think. This was after we fished with you, right? Before. It was before we fished yes. with you. Okay. So we, <laughs> it was before we fished with, with Ryan and, and, you know, Eric, uh, who's not only a great artist, you know, he's a dad, he's, uh, he's a guy, he's a wicked fly angler. He, he, he was going to take us out to do some tarpon uh, fly fishing, some yeah, tarpon that's, that's awesome. tarpon fly fishing. So cool. He brought us to the spot. Some cool We're, spots. We got oil on our hands from stripping the line. Like, Disgusting. Just, and there's tarpon, fi- or, like, a hundred tarpon in this canal, about twice the size of the ones behind the Airbnb. Really? Mm-hmm. Big ones, too. Big That's ones. crazy. So he's bringing his spots. Unfortunately, the sun's not out. I'm fishing, so-and-so, whatever, you know. So, But it's a good time. And, uh, you know, he's like, I got to get this idiot on a fish. That's what I'm imagining what he's thinking. So he's like, I got a spot. But we, you know, we just, you'll take a quick cast with your spin rod, and we'll get out of there. I'm like, yeah, no worries. Not a thing. And... You know, whole, prior to all this, we had actually, I think it just had popped up on my For You page. It was just so happened to it. It was a video of you feeding uh, some pretty big tarpon. What was it? Chicken nuggets, I think. Or, so, or something like it was like food. It was like food. Maybe like a hot dog or something. Yeah, I mean, you were hand feeding like 50 pound, 80 pound tarpon off of a dock. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And I'm like, assuming that dock you, can't, like, you can't fish at, obviously. I mean, if you want to, and if you don't mind losing your nutsack and or throat or indoor. life yeah literally life. life bro life i learned that day life for real huh yes so, bro so like yeah for real so i'm like that's the, like we were watching something like that's nuts and it's hard for you to probably believe this but we didn't have any idea what the f- we were getting <laughs> ourselves into so eric's like I can't believe just you follow me to this f- pond and what's so funny is i pulled this pond it looks like any other pond in illinois i'm like what the f-? And he's like, you never think. <laughs> you have no idea. You really wouldn't. So we pull up this pond. He's like, bring your spin around in a little swim base. I got my, I'm like, dude, I, I probably look like such a idiot. I'm like walking up to this <laughs> lake, this pond. It's a pond. Oh, dude. And there's this. Wait, wait, wait. In the middle of the day. Oh, bro, dude, it's like 12 p.m. People are on the lunch break. What's wrong with the pond? <laughs> You're going to find out. <laughs> find out. So we get to the pond. I'm like walking here with my Guggen green rod looking like a idiot. And he's like, just throw right at that dock over there. <laughs> I'm thinking that dog looks awfully familiar. <laughs> <laughs> and so I f- be, I'm being my swim bag at like two casts. And I'm like, there's nothing. And he's like, all right, all right, let's leave. Let's leave. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. I just took three casts, but that's cool. Like thinking like, really? Is it th- like, it didn't happen. So we're leaving like that quick. I'm like, let me at least work these edges. Real, like, I'm like, let me fish this brush real quick. I'm trying to catch something. And dude, we, as soon as I turn around, all of a sudden I hear, oh my, f-. he's what the f- are you thirsty mother doing here <laughs> look at you oh yeah you got a camera too well yeah yeah get put that camera on me uh, what the fuck is up it's fish man joe, <laughs> fish man joe. <laughs> and i'm like i'm like what the f-? and first of all let me paint a picture for all you guys this dude is wearing a wife beater he's oh, got his head beater, headphones, beard, headphones in with, with, the, with the chain with two rings on it yeah gold link he's, he's got the ch- he's got the chain link he's gold chain link he's coming he's strutting at us and i'm like all right i'm like we aren't supposed to fish here. I'm like, we were really not supposed to fish here. And he's coming right at us, and he's, like, taking his headphones out. And he's just – I mean, I can't, I can't even think of, like, what he was saying. He was barraging us. He was, like, just raining down, like, in. So I was like, you are that thirsty for a bite? You got to come fish here? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I know we were fishing private water today, but I didn't think it was, like – I mean, yeah, I'm, I wanted to turn and be like, I am 
I am parched, bro. I am so fucking parched for bite. But I didn't want to like press the situation anymore. I didn't know who this guy was. And then, you know, so he's following us all the way. So we're leaving. Eric's like, he, he's, Eric's trying to like kind of saying, oh, you know, like, dude, just, it's all good. Like, you know, I, I don't know what Eric was saying, but he was in a sense trying to defend, not defend, but just kind of be like, we're leaving, bro. We're leaving. It's all good. We took three casts. We harmed nothing. It's all good. So Eric's kind of like talking and then walking, talking, walking, kind of turn around and Fishman just falling us all the fucking way out. So does Fishman Joe own the pond or? No. Well, the pre- well, well I'll, I'll kind of cap it okay. off at the end. So Fish, he's, he's following us he just he's just you know in our, in our sh- and then blackwell or sorry blackwell f- me clearly if i want too many beers caleb turns around and puts the camera on on joe and joe's like yeah follow me on Fishman joe <laughs> he's like follow my instagram and then he like gets back into it. he's like f- you f- like, plugs, <laughs> plugs himself and then he gets right back into insulting us and i'm like okay so then then some other guy comes out and he's like you guys are really like he's like you guys are really that f- down bad if you need a bite you come here and i'm like what is going on what bro? some guy comes out like comes out of his house like they're all waiting for us and then another guy comes out and says some shows i'm like yo let's get the, the whole neighborhood's coming after Dude, us at this point the whole neighborhood is insane yeah so i'm like we're like a, like just a hair away from the car and joe's still kind of behind us so you can hear him yelling and all of a sudden i just hear get him get him get him <laughs> oh my and i'm God. like i'm like get who and who's getting us i'm like the f-? and what? i and i turn around in this just Forrest Gump on steroids looking mother just starts going <laughs> <laughs> like have shit. you ever seen like, like have you ever seen like what's that show like uh, <laughs> what's that <laughs> oh yeah just like just homies homies in this A sprint he's just like he's cutting air with his aerodynamic muscles and he's just sprinting full speed I'm like oh I'm like he'll get the in the car but like, I'm not sticking around for this shit. I'm cool with getting you know like dissed and whatever and just call, being called a but I'm not about to lose a over oh taking God. three casts of this pond. I don't even know. Uh, by the way, I have no idea what the f*** is going on. I'm like, we're just fishing a private pond, bro. I fished thousands of those as a kid. Go Never have him. I ever had a bulk-ass, you know, dwarf-looking guy just come. This wasn't this it, man Joe, though. No, he was no, no, this was his not, partner. Not this man creature. Joe. Someone he's, else. He's one of the characters. Bro, he, he, is, he is one of the... He, that day, he was I, the main character. I love Eric. Don't know why he brought you there. I would never bring you there in a million years. I love you, Eric. But, like... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or get out. Remember when 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 the dude and get out. Remember that movie where he's just sprinting in the yard. I mean, it's, it's like the most like stereotypical oh, full no, on heads. The arms are just yeah just moving. And I mean, that's coming at I me. Mean, I feel the earth rumble with every step this guy's taking towards my way. And it's like a f- charging rhinoceros, bro. So we get in the car. I'm like hitting the lock button. I have dreams. <laughs> of, I have nightmares about. It. I'm like cranking the lock button, <laughs> and the guy goes like, boom. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he just ends up right there. Oh, I'm like, God. he just right there at the window. I'm like, oh. Gosh. Whips his phone out, taking videos of the license plate. I'm like, it's a f- rental, but have at it. And Caleb hops out in the sunroof and taking video of him. And the guy like smiles and goes like, "Fuck you!" And I'm like, <laughs> "Damn, bro, we didn't even catch nothing." I'm like, "What the f- is this for?" So, turns out, bro, I got We had been fishing, like this is Sea Aquarium, <laughs> like a. F- attraction at sea world it'd be like take, <laughs> literally it'd be like oh casting it would be like throwing a Have popper in the orca pit video on tiktok my pet uh, bubbles yeah. I th- yeah. that's there that's him that's that? it and i was y- <laughs> i was yossing my swim bait midday thinking oh yeah i might catch a little tarpon or something like this is fun Air- like i just dude it was dude i mean funny. i've had people come at me with that energy just for feeding them like but it's crazy and i'm like and i live across the street my dad lives across the street so i'm like dude i'm here and they all know me now, but like, I've I'm had to Oh, they know there. me too now. <laughs> I got my I've face had... on one of those signs that this is no trespassing, <laughs> for sure. No, I mean, you're literally like, like to go, you have to walk over a no trespassing sign to get on the dock. But, but I, like, you know, and I will say like, and, and I know Eric should know better. I'm not saying this against Eric. Listen, I, I don't want to talk. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know the whole story with what Eric was thinking. And maybe he wasn't thinking that day. And I've had moments like that too. <laughs> but ultimately, if I had just pulled on, like the scary thing is, is probably flying from texas or illinois and like look at google maps I'm like oh this pond looks clean and clear Either, i mean it looks like any other <laughs> private pond right? i would want you i would fish ponds, it. right yeah you fish private oh, yeah. You fish yeah. Private. oh yeah but this <laughs> imagine you pull up oh yeah you can't but, like you can't. like yeah. it's not like that you no. you just know you're like oh like okay like dude it's, it's sketchy man like i i have friends not friends but people that i know who've literally had guns pulled on them for fishing there i Believe like, it. Like, I'm trying to pull up, bro. To catch homie, one of homie, pull, <laughs> homie pulled two guns on me. He was like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was 
<laughs> Dude. Man's cranking meth and, and doing nonstop curls all day. Yeah, waiting bro. for this moment. Yeah, I think a needle was hanging out of his ass. <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> like, dude, I don't know. Bro, I saw something there. It's like a, it's like that uh, that dock in the Keys where all the tarpon Robbie's. are. Where you fi- yeah, it's, it's like no, it, it it's is, like going it is, to fish out Robbie's. It no, is it is literally, literally Robbie's. It is literally it is Robbie's. Literally Robbie's. But it's yeah. they it's nick, better. Don't they? It, it's don't they better. Nick, yeah, yeah, it's better. And you, but you know, I understand from the owner's perspective because oh, one hundred percent. I'm not defending our case. No. I just think it's a f- hilarious story. It is that we're just like, uh, why can't we fish here? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the problem? And what's so funny, dude? The be- this just goes shows my luck, dude. I took like four casts at that doc didn't get a single <laughs> you didn't even see it like a <laughs> stop and they're like yo f- <laughs> you, dude. get the dude, f- I, out I, of here. i'll tell you why this all started like this so there used to be kubera snapper gigantic i heard that yeah. kubera snapper like 70 pounds what? kubera snapper. so <laughs> it's so crazy what an it's old crazy. school charter captain was stocking this pond for years there's big tarpon up to like 60 70 pounds there used to be way more but literally people went and fished it fished these it, right. kids kill them bro they they, they, yeah. they hold them in the gills, the tarpon shake, they die, man, and and that's why I, I that understand. That's and, and, you, and, and you gotta t- you, and, you, and you gotta play devil's advocate. You gotta assume anyone who's there is going to harm that. For right. sure, yeah. and, and and that is something that's cool. That there is nothing else like it in the state of Florida. It, it's a very special place, and like yeah, it's a like, one When I see people fish that, like on TikTok, especially like like these like. Little Cuban kids that, that, that just go in there, and I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Dude, that's, that's so I used to have an Acura TSX. Only one one key for the car. It was Christmas morning, and a little tradition my stepbrother and I have, we, we feed the tarpon every Christmas morning there. So we went to the freaking hood gas station. I got some glizzies, and, like, I pull up there. We're feeding them. We're feeding them. I'm laying flat on the dock on my on my stomach. My car keys fall out of my pocket. I didn't know this. When I go to stand back up, Keys fall in. They're going this. Shoop, shoop, foom. Destroyed by a tarpon. Tarpon goes like this. Spits it. They're going like this. Foom. Like a spoon. Another tarpon. And it's going all the way down. I'm just like looking at it. I'm like, holy sh, holy sh, holy sh. Dude, the jacks are swerving on it and everything. There's jacks in there? There's gigantic jacker ball. What? Probably, probably the world Dude, record. Also, this pond blue is runner. tiny. It's, it's it is it's tiny, tiny. But it's I'm not tiny. kidding. There's a blue runner in there. You know what a blue runner yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this big. So, is that like oh, a yellow? Man. Is that a yellow tail? Is that what that is? No, blue. no. So it's like a jack, but not as savage. And okay. they don't get as big. But this is the <laughs> biggest a damn blue runner. I actually have a crazy I story I want to share with you guys after this. But like, so basically I kick my car keys in. I call my dad. I'm like, get the dive mask. I dive down like 15 feet, and, and I'm literally getting in the water, and I'm just looking at all was the anyone, tarpon. Was anyone like tweaking at you for getting in the water? No. My, well, no, no, give well, a no, only like, you, John. Everybody, you. So, like, this <laughs> pond is old, bro. When my dad, yeah, yeah. like, like literally 30 years ago, when my dad was a rookie firefighter in Miami, the, the guys brought him to this pond at night, and they gave him a hot dog, and he, and he you know, got ate by the tarpon. So this has been— Oh, a, so they've been around for they've decades. They've been around for decades, and that's oh, why that's I'm crazy about it. So the main guy there, he's, a, he's an old sheriff. And like and like, they're on guard, bro. Like like, like they want the smoke. Any little <laughs> little Florida jail wants to pull up a fish, they're gonna deal with fish man Decapitate Joe. that. They're gonna kid. deal with bro. all the all the. F- dude, fishman Joe. I mean that mother. He'll just make your spine shiver. Oh man. Only pulls up. I can't wait to like, to oh hear boy, his voice. About to be bad, man. I have a I know I'm a excited. pond in Miami. Like this was the pond, like back in the day when I oh, was I think like, you told like me an, about an absolute this. menace. Like like like. <laughs> 16 got the driver's license i'm like i'm going down Go- goblin mode oh goblin mode so like literally you have to drive down to the Florida kodak Keys. on halloween mode like yeah. you were going oh yeah i park on the side of these mangroves and i'm on google maps and i'm like walking through literally literally two miles of, of mo- like muddy mangroves to get there to get destroyed by mosquitoes i have a bag of dead pilchards <laughs> my van saw 200 like like mega surf rod and, and I walk up to the pond, and I get there. And there's, like, two. So you get through the main mangroves, and then yeah. there's, like, golf carts and cars that are coming by. And you look, and you run to the next the next section of woods to go through. Oh, it's a covert so, ops. Oh, uh, dude, it is, like, some black ops oh. in there. So you we get in there. Squat. We walk up. I throw one handful of pilchards. 300-pound Goliath comes up. It's the whole thing. In a pond. There's cobia, black grouper, oh, yellowtails, red grouper. So apparently it's a pond. I didn't know this. Oh, well, I know. Well, hold up. Actually, actually, maybe what? not a pond, but but it, it's. It's too late. You can't go back. 
Okay. <laughs> it's too late, bro. You Bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, dude, like, have you ever seen that that clip on my on my on my YouTube where I throw it like in my old intro? I throw the handful. That's that pond. I already knew what you were talking about the, when the, you the mentioned tarpon. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I mean, that it? I love oh, that yes. intro. <laughs> oh yes. That intro's so the good. Giant bull we reds. talked about that one. Like, there's yeah. literally like 45 inch bull reds in this pond. That's not. That, you said that was. That's <laughs> not. Is it? No, it's not. It's. There, who knows what it is, but. But it's some. If weird you guys thing. want to know where it's at, we'll leave the, the link down oh, below. We got like coordinates, for all these yeah. Spots down below. <laughs> Could you imagine? Dude? <laughs> oh my we god! Just, we just provide them even with all like, information. Even if needed. like fifty people watch this, that would be catastrophic. Oh bro. my god! You'd have people flying in from Idaho. <laughs> and, like my first tarpon is in a pond. Okay. <laughs> Wait, can oh we my pause god! Imagine so squatting bad. up like fifty deep. Oh. Everyone has a fishing rod pulling up to, to. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, because it should have been the day before this pod came out. So hopefully, oh, it's going up on Christmas. It's coming out on Christmas or twenty sixth. Yeah, so nice, yep, bro. there we go. Love it. So hopefully happy post Christmas, everyone. You guys are home. You guys got some. You guys got the presents you wanted. Maybe you're feeling a little full from uh, Christmas dinner. Is that a thing? Do people still do that? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, I love. Uh, we do like a giant ham. Oh man. We do a uh, so uh, what I do for Christmas dinner is I'll go out and catch a raccoon, <laughs> and we'll. Uh, oh, you're gonna say you just pick some animal out of your yard? Oh my God, <laughs> have you who's ever going today? It? Have you ever thought about it? Uh, yeah, I, I have. Flair does it all the time. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> it's wild, bro. I, I be like a... eating my pet pig. It's like <laughs> it's like oh, nice. I mean, dude, yeah. I mean, if he's, you can't keep all those animals. Like, might as well eating my pet it pig. So I raised it since oh, birth. Oh, bro, it's yeah. prime meats. No, yeah. we have the meats. Yeah, I think I think a good one would be like raising a wagyu cow, and then oh my gosh. the punchline of the end is like Dude, he eating it. Do that. <laughs> he should actually do that. Yeah, Flair, do it. It's a big deal in Texas. There's a lot of wagyu really? in Texas. Yeah, yeah. it's a it's a popular yeah, out, thing. especially out east. Imagine Texas. their poop. Probably that would be busted. good. Dude, that would be oh, some yeah. good. Fed like like corn. It's and a like specific every, type of grass. They, they, they get like massage and stuff and like to an extremity. Yeah, that's how it works. But for the most part, it's I think it's a it's a breed. It's a, it's an actual like. Do you know this? Maybe. Yeah, I took a cow class in high school. So. Did you actually? No. Uh, <laughs> I was like, both. I'm like, what an elective that is. <laughs> Y'all got to touch some cows. That's Texas for you. So, but no, I mean, yeah, I have no idea. You should Whatever do. your question was. No, you should do. I was hoping you could enlighten us. Catch and cook on my animals, liver king style. Oh my, bro, that kill it on the tube that would actually <laughs> yeah liver king he was steroided out wasn't oh, he dude. oh yeah he, yeah he i got, heard he about got that exposed. i saw a video of pierce morgan just ripping him oh dude. bro and he's yes. like i feel i've let the, the world down i hope that people still buy my supplement and no, he didn't say that but he's like you know <laughs> still buy with the content yeah you know, you I, the what? whole the whole the whole but dude who the f- would think he's natty bro i mean come on bro yeah, a lot, no a lot, yeah, a lot. Yeah, I, I people, didn't think bro. that. No, of, never for a second. I no, I know. But no, but yes, no, a lot people, of most people did not. But a lot of people. Well, did. a lot of his fan base is you know those 12, 13 year old kids that like you know hit puberty. Like, all right, I want to get big. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let me let me eat some. It'd have been nice if he just. Like, it would have been nice if he just pitched like steroids to the to, bro. To yeah, the I mean, audience. like you want to like, get you big. Guys, yeah. There's nine. There's nine it. ancestral <laughs> tenants, Civil. and then there's also roids. <laughs> Which one's easier? <laughs> Honestly, if we break down the cost too, it's kind of hard to get your hands on liver these days. Let's just go straight to steroids. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's pump your body full of tea. It's way easier. Way easier, guys. I mean, I'm you on don't board. Eat that icky. I think that someone needs to come along. At, see, this is a perfect window. I'm always like, I've always got good ideas, but I can never execute them myself. It's a good window for some. I'll take this one. To, some guy to step in and be like. Yep. Listen, here's the real secret. Steroids. And you just pitch it like an old 1950s I ad. I've seen the gym, bro. You're, you're, you're yeah, grinding, bro. bro. And that was when I, I actually started going a while back because of you. Remember when Dude, you were in I, Florida? You know, that was so fun. We were at Paul's house working out in the garage. like just like. Y'all get sweaty in Paul's place? Yeah. Oh, dude, we were dripping. Nice. Dude, it was, dripping. I think that's where we first Wet everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Like I was saying that you had inspired me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't pull a f- dildo out of that pink duffel bag. <laughs> like, this is for you. Oh man, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm literally laughing like, haha, like right in the mic and just like clipping. I'm it's looking okay. at it. <laughs> he's looking I'm at it. Making his, your uh, job so much at the harder. Audio bumps. Ryan's getting self-conscious at his clip and he's looking at the f- audio waves. He's like, Jesus, I need to settle down. No, it's all good, bro. I, I, there's a reason why right I, into I, it. I've got it turned down like halfway. 
Uh, mostly for Brent. Brent's so turned down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I literally have notes. <laughs> I gotta sanitize that. Shit yeah, I have notes bro. like like literally when I'm reading the ideas, it like says be energetic because like two pods. I was just like, yeah, I was like, the difference between being energetic and being loud as f- though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I'm, I'm totally. Um, what's on, oh, so one one <laughs> one fucking funny thing I wanted to bring up too that I wanted to tell Brent, but save it for the podcast. It's a very brief story, but the 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 shit that I cheesed over so hard is when we fished. By the way, the whole experience when we fished, it was just it was awesome. Like the fishing was good. I felt like the fishing was good. In your eyes, there was probably some moments where it was like ah, it wasn't. We good, had but, so many moments that were like oh, we're so close, you know. Dude, it was so it was it, it was awesome. It was awesome. Great I, day. I'll just put it simply as that. There were some moments too where <laughs> so I was just rare. Like, like laughing. I mean, it started off with you facing a oh 100, 150 God. degree cup of <laughs> cappuccino or dude. Or I was like, all right, cheers, man. So, so my my stepdad owns a little sandwich shop, and we we go. I saw he posted it. Yeah. It looks so good. Yeah, uh, it's it's so awesome. Good. Yeah, and um, he made us some breakfast sandwiches and some coffees and and espresso shots. <laughs> and <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, dude, that was so miserable for like two weeks after this moment. <laughs> so like like John and I, he's like, dude, cheers, man, and he, and he goes up to it and like he does do it, <laughs> and I'm like, dude, my mouth just like caught on. This shit is straight it's off like the- boiling. This is, this and is- I spit it out everywhere, and I just die laughing. And like for five minutes, I'm dying laughing. I'm like, did I really just do this? So your stepdad, like, your stepdad, right? Oh, he, o- he's flaming me. He opens up the shop early. He gets a sandwich. He gets one espresso. My, I love espresso. 300 <laughs> milligrams to the fucking dome. I'll take it. So I'm like, I'm trying to get caffeinated and shit. And just met Ryan. It's like, this is great, Ben. Let's let's do a quick salute, quick cheers. So I'm like, just joking as if we're taking a shot of like was... alcohol. So I like, boom, boom. And I look, look at me. <laughs> I, I did this it. This straight straight off the press. I mean, it's a it's got to be 180 degrees. <laughs> it's so hot. Hits his <laughs> mouth instantly spits it out. And I've, I've had a sip of coffee that's hot before, and it just ruins your day. Dude. But dude, your esophagus had to have been a little bit. I never made it th- that deep, but like, dude, my whole tongue got burned, like under my tongue got burned, <laughs> like, dude, for like two, oh, maybe three gosh. weeks, man, like, it, I was just like, god damn it, that was really stupid. It was Bro, hilarious. For the video, it was so worth it. It, it. it was hilarious. It was so funny. And so, so following that, the other, well, one of the other funny moments that happened was when we were fishing that pond for Snakehead, and <laughs> you saw this big big um it was a big it was a big grass oh, carp. Sh- you're like ah, oh, watch this and you f- throw over its head and just kind of give it a nice little tug and you get a scale back <laughs> <laughs> i caught the scale and and who and Be- and your friend becca was with us and she comes around she's like what was that and you're like oh, that's a tarpon <laughs> she believed it and she's like no <laughs> way and you're like yeah here's the scale right here she's like oh, ryan do you want me to put that in a book for you and you're like yeah, yeah whatever sure <laughs> The scale was like <laughs> this big. <laughs> Mega carp. I'm like, if it was a tarpon, it would have been a 190 pound tarpon <laughs> just chilling in this pond. <laughs> and I'm just the whole time like biting my <laughs> tongue. I'm like, <laughs> that's funny. You're Brian goes, watch, so, it was watch so this funny. and flips it over. <laughs> and we're just like dicking around. The, at that point, the fishing was, we were on our way out. So yeah, watch this. And you pull the scale back and she's just like, <gasps> <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, that had me geeked. As <laughs> but I, awesome. love, I love doing that to my friends too. Just be like, yeah, them like was that a oh I did that to you yeah you did that to me you did that to me all <laughs> oh, all man. the time Dude, today we're at this ditch and um we're looking down the water and I've got glasses he doesn't and I'm like dude, dude I come think over here. John is like, so pitch. stupid too when he says this I'm like there's there's just no way I'm like, I'm like pitch right here is a clown and he's like oh. no way I'm like yeah come here I'm like I'm like look look right there and I think I gave you the glasses too, and I'm like, it's right there. You it's give like me the glasses. You go, it's ten yards out. I look ten yards out. There's nothing there. You go, it's five yards out, and I'm looking. I look but at Jake. Said, oh and yeah, then, yeah, I and see then it. I go, I look at Jake when I go, and I'm looking at these little cichlids swim by. I'm like, yeah, I see it. I see it right there. I just there's nothing there. There's. <laughs> you see it? And you're like, Ugh. what was it? Was it a tilapia? Or? <laughs> nothing. No, there was nothing there. <laughs> there was literally nothing there. It was just. That's no, funny. there we did have one fishing experience uh catching this bear Monday, bro. Monday, bro. That was insane. Dude, that was so funny. And it was we had a few bite or whatever and it was it was cool. And then you just stood the at the rod. edge of this dock and he was like Degrading. aggressively oh. musky fishing. Was that at that one spot? Yeah. Yeah. And he's just like <laughs> with the rod like 3 feet in the water and, I broke and it. 
and they just start ripping it in this dude. Like, oh, they bro! Start going, pop, 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 pop. Like they're going crazy. Can I be honest? I cannot wait for those to escape and start breeding everywhere <laughs> throughout Florida. They bro, are really, so much fun. I really cannot have seen, wait. Have you seen these kids on Instagram posting like these ten foot arapaimas that they're catching in Florida? Oh, yeah. No, I, that's, Where? that's not. Is it happening? That, that that like there's been so many caught. There's dude. basically this farm. No idea where it is. I could probably get the pen. We you gotta find that, that down below. That's what I was telling you about. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> I was telling you. I said, I said I bet Paul or Ryan knows Dude, about so this. We need to there's find a that. Kid that I know. I'm not gonna say his name. He went there with his truck. He caught a freaking arapaima, like literally a 200 pound arapaima, probably seven feet. Oh, they're long. that big. Dude, he tried to put it in his pond, <laughs> and this dude. What's with your he not, Bro, y'all need to just take <laughs> what do you mean, y'all? Catching it wasn't enough? Well, you need to take a little bit of responsibility here, bro. Uh, okay. Yes, I, I was at one I mean, point. Dude, y'all are f- like, let, let, let's see how f- buck wild we can get. Let's take a 200 pound We catch it. Let's throw it in the bed. Like, That's what? what he did. He threw it in the bed of his truck with no oh water. Oh. And he went home and tried to put it in the pond. He didn't, it didn't make it. And he literally posted. Oh, I wonder of, why. It's oh, honestly, kind of like. Up, but like yeah. he literally held, like hung it on the tree and like took a picture next to it. Do you have like, a picture of this? Of him. I can find it. Wow. Yeah. I that's in Florida. He's, like, he's a cool dude, but I was like, yeah, that's kind of not my my, my thing scene. I've seen out of you. Um, but yeah, I don't like that. My honestly. dream. So I was gonna ask you uh, what your dream fish oh, would be. Such a good question. And my, mine is an arapaima. Do dude. three. Do three. You do three. Ooh. Brendan will go down the line. Amazing. Okay. Three, okay. Yeah. So arapaima has always been my favorite ever since River Monsters. I I did the gar, the big gar. So I'll. I, although you were done with that, bro. You're yeah, I, I yeah, guess I was, could be done would, with you, that. I would say you would successfully accomplish that, especially since you got an opportunity to do that yourself uh, during that flood. That was, I didn't, that I was wasn't there cool for that, but that was pretty. Yeah, nice. thank you. Super cool. uh, that was that was one of my fit. That's definitely my favorite fish catcher ever. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, it would be Arapaima, uh, going from owning Piran- Paku. Going from owning Paku, <laughs> I've always wanted to catch a piranha um, in the wild. I've yeah, always go, wanted go to go to the Amazon. You'll catch them every freaking cast. You're gonna want to just never catch one again. Never catch one again. That it's and so a red annoying. tail. Oh, dude! So I'm I oh, it, but it's just a I nightmare. caught a freaking mega. It, it was like a forty pound red tail. But dude, we went out at night and, and, and oh my and god, baits out at night. And Is that where they get wild? So I'm actually really excited for this video to come out. It's it's gonna be titled and thumbnailed. Amazon food chain fishing challenge and it's gonna we literally dig up worms in the jungle and we go and we catch bait so we have these little cane poles and we just bloop bloop on the rod and the, the water twice and, the, and then we catch bait like that yeah and we were catching these fish called palometta they're literally the size of a dinner plate and I'm like okay this might be too big to throw out and I'll like let me try it so I have my my like big bait caster set up hundred pound braid like travel musky bait casting rod and i throw this palomette out and i'm like okay no way 10 seconds Dunk. i'm like oh my god i real tight gone i'm like what was it what? a paraiba or so i think it was a giant shovel nose we we're fishing oh. in this, oh in my this little gosh. junction this little river junction so i would go insane bro so we're fishing it's like this little little Three way where, where three things meet and we're just on the bank on the boat. Wow, dude! Three things meet. Every single palometto that we threw out for like two days of doing that got crushed. I was not able to get one fish up doing that. I what, mean, because too many snags. There were so many snags and something crazy. We had live scope in the jungle, so so we're on what? top of it, bro. We're Who seeing that? Uh, the the owner of of uh, Fish Columbia. How did uh, it do with all the debris dude, and? Sh- it water? was the coolest thing I've ever. I mean, honestly. I didn't like it because I, I, I'm in the jungle. The last thing I want to look, at, look at is the screen. Yeah, 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 but that yeah, was my yeah, first yeah, experience yeah. with live scope. I've never used it until oh, that really? time. So we're fishing these brush pile, like, like these giant things. And, bro, so we're fishing. Have you ever seen – what is it called? It's basically like a, a soft plastic nomad. It's a nomad vibe. Yeah. So yeah, we're fishing these lures. nomad vibes, yeah. and we're dropping them straight on these on these brush piles just like this. And you can see the pyara. Like, like, see the pyro just come up to it, thunk, and f- like just like a tarpon, like on the live scope, and you're on, dude. But these are the, vertically, the, the, vertically jigging, vertically, for vertically jigging for pyro. But the coolest thing, we can see the catfish down there, and there was, and I'm talking four feet long catfish. No way. And this tiny little, wow, dude. But and and at, and it thumped me, dude, on the vibe, and it, and we have it on video. Actually, I don't think we. He asked us not to film the live scope. But um, he's the one that would like 
no one's doing it, and he kind of pioneered that. But it was it was Listen, super bro, dope. That's gonna ruin it though. Oh, it, it, it's I'm gonna be honest. It, 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 it'd be good for a guy to just kind of like scope out and see where the fish are at. But ultimately, there's like, it's a double edged sword. I mean, it's like I have a buddy that's going yeah. there this upcoming year, and he's bringing his own live scope because I told him about it. Mm-hmm. And and he's gonna he's gonna do it and you know that it, ta- that, that's it takes cool. away it's, it'd be like it going, takes away from the jungle bro it, it'd be that's like, exactly it'd be like it. going camping and then you bring your TV it's yeah like, I I think I and I'm very I, and it's hard you know I I honestly I'm a big advocate towards I as a bass angler I use it all the time but I just I ultimately I would love to just I I boat. noticed that whenever we were fishing it was it was so much horrible. different because horrible that was the first it's time really cool, I ever it's used a, it's it too. very cool to like to see how the fish react to it but like like I mean it's just not fishing for me no, yeah no i 100 percent agree no, no. but dude I, I totally think you need to do a jungle trip yeah and i would, would love it i know you've been that's, the that's been my dream number three what was number Red three tail. for you uh yeah so also, it, w- it would be wine please it'd be arapaima Oof. piranha or big peacock i love peacock fishing uh, yeah the biggest i've ever caught about a five down and here. yeah, down yeah. here, and then it would be a red tail because I've kept red tails. I love them; they're so they strong, dude. So Beto oh, on live scope, huge. he caught a seventy-five pound red okay, tail. They get really and I'm cool. telling, I mean, it thing's five feet long. It's huge. Is there anyone in Florida who has something that big? I mean, uh, so you used I told, to be there, there's a pond right next to my house. There's about a thirty pounder in it. Like, no way. Big. Yes, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude, and that's the crazy thing about South Florida is you know pe- people. <laughs> They collect all these exotic pets, and they outgrow the aquarium, or, or yep. a hurricane hits. That's how clown nightfish became a thing. People in Lake Ida would— So the water level rises, and then they disperse. Because we were talking or, about that today. you know, like a hurricane is coming through, and, like, people lose power, and, like, the fish are dying and throw them in the pond. Mm. Or they get too big. Like, uh, in Florida, this is the, the, the coolest fish I've ever hooked was an arowana. It was no, two, you did it, not. I did, bro. I did, and and I freaking flipped it on the bank, and it it got off, and I'm devastated. But in that, so it was that's a, probably my dream. It was a small too. pond. I, yeah. I can so all over the Amazon too. Did you just catch any? They were so hard, bro. Like 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 we saw like little like little packs of them. Yeah, so they like do. Six, they, that's how they travel. And and I threw the fly at them, and they just would fall. And they weren't big, but you know, there's a if you want to do arapaima and arowana. You can knock that out on one trip. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's a place. I actually watched a video on YouTube. Of, uh, it's a really cool video. Who was it by? Do you know? <sighs> Some Australian. Um, dude, I'll show you later. It's, Some Aussie bloke. Yeah, <laughs> dude. They, they crushed it. Like an 11-minute film about the Arapaima. I've never seen anything like this. Do you know so, what, what, do you know what uh, the um, country it was in South America? I, I don't, but I know. So on the trip that I went on. My, the, my buddy Derek, who I met there, he actually lives in Deerfield, not too far from here. He went fly fishing for Arapaima. I got like a 400-pounder on fly. Oh, my So, for gosh. me, that's one of them. I don't know if that's number one. That's so stupid. I want to go. I, I really want to catch a giant GT, bro. Because I, I truly. Dang, bro. I didn't. I should add that to my list, yeah, too. <laughs> Shout out A. Benz, one of my buddies down here, man. He has a giant jack so dialed in. like And like I, we talk about it. Like That's our trip that we want to do is just go. And like catch giant GTs on poppers. I'm not. Done, I'm not done the kind of jack fishing that um, A Ben's has done, or probably you've done, or most people have done. Um, I've caught a couple jacks. All I can say is, it's not comparable. They look very similar. Really. But as far as like, what's your biggest GT? Um, I I caught one that was like, I think, seven, eighty or seventy pounds. Holy sh! My God. I just want to be there. With this thing on my lap like this. <clears throat> oh, villain. I mean, the run, uh, do it. I mean, they're compared they to like. Themselves, they put themselves sideways in the, and on, when they're under the boat, too. They just, and you're just praying they don't get f- shark because at that point they're moving slow. They, they just, they just know how to, they just know how to f- not get in the boat. They really do. They're, 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 I feel like they've got a little bit more going on than Jack's, Jack Cabal. I think, I think what they've got, what they've got is just an attitude problem. Like GTs have got a, f- Attitude problem. Mad. I'm so jealous yeah. of these dudes on just fishing on the clear water cliffs in Australia. I've seen and those. it just Gavi Briggsy. Oh, uh, Pelagic Fra- Pursuit. Have you seen that guy? He's one of my fi- all, bro. All of them. I, I it's insane. No, of them all. No, I actually know some of them, but no, all like no of most of them. You know what else I really want to do? I don't know if this is a bucket list for me, but I want to go to the pond in Australia that has like all the trees sticking out of it. Sight fishing for Baramondi. giant Baramondi, bro. Oh, that gosh. is insane. The place to do that is PNG, though. 
Oh, really? Yeah, the P- the PNG is the place to go because there's a lot of 100 meter, 120 meter, just giant barramundi. But also the main goal in the prize is the uh, the black bass down there. So that was gonna be really? my next thing I was yeah. gonna say. The black bass are basically. But they coincide the big the big the big barrows. The, I don't know a lot about story, about those. What's that? I don't know a lot about those. So really. black bass are like cuberos. Okay, okay. They're, they're very similar. Giant. But they're, they're more like brack, brackish and freshwater. Yeah. They put themselves in, like we fish there, like not that shallow, but like tiny yeah, creeks yeah. and tributaries. That is so and, cool, man. I, I've heard stories of guys going for PN, uh, PNG bass, and uh, they'll be shaking off 120 meter pair of money to try to get the black bass that are underneath the and this is the old name. oh they coexist in the same place oh yeah yeah, yeah. holy crap yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, wow. so that's what's cool about that. it so you're throwing you're throwing a bait that can that can that can sway either which way like i mean that's what's cool have about you done it. that or no no it's on my list i would like to accomplish it next year i mean one of my big things i want to spend a ton of time in that whole you know just uh pacific island chain of you know you got australia you've got PNG, we we're talking about doing that together indonesia japan didn't include you I on think, I think any of three. that. I think but us three, we were talking about that. Better chance of Ryan going than you. Because you know why? That's because you took, the, you took the metanium. I just saw, his f- the metanium. I saw the lights turn off. What's that? Because yeah, you took the metanium. That's why. Yeah. If you want to take that dog, I think then I'll think the about pod, it. Bro. I think it's I think I'm the new guy. Uh, I say it sounds like it from I'm just all kidding. John's criticizing. We'll, we'll still cuddle. Friends. He's been a real homie. Thank you. I appreciate Friends. that. I'm just kidding. But there's a big trip. And, um, you were kidding. <laughs> See, <look at> that. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it'd be cool. It'd be real. The, the cool thing about the, the, what makes those international trips is you've got a good group. I've always, yeah. I've always, always been a huge advocate on that. Um, you know, when we went to Australia, it was Blackwell and Scott and I and uh, Scott Rose, Scott Rose. Cool dude. Um, yeah. And we went to Australia and we literally did a road trip and had no, f- it was what made that whole experience of having people to like turn to and be like, is this fucked up? Or is this fun? And every time it's like, yeah, this is fun. But we do yeah. it. Yeah. It's like just, it wasn't fun. <laughs> but yeah. Ultimately, well, there'd be moments where it wasn't fun. But then the moments that there was f- like a good, like a good pinnacle element to it, like a good pinnacle moment, it was, it was great. Um, and having good people around for that. Was, was, I, was that I think that's what got us to the Trinity trip. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. seriously. Yeah, seriously, that was yeah. literally it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Or there, I would have jumped. The funnest moments that is just us sitting on the bank. Talking to Gar. Bro, <laughs> going off. You won't bite. Yeah. You won't bite. No, it would dude, suck it was suck in the giant Gar. Or we catch a we turtle. See, we see what I'd be like, <laughs> pull out the Glock like when a turtle comes up. <laughs> yeah. No, I got one. I got one. No, it's, it's, I, think it's, I think it's small. Uh, just, uh, oh, and then you get it up and it's a fucking turtle. Bro, it's a soft shell. And then I'm it's sorry. the same soft shell that you just caught. <laughs> and he came back for redemption, bro. And I'm like, where's our rock? No, we didn't kill any turtles. But definitely... One wanted to. One. I want to throw hands at one of those guys. Mm-hmm. Um, the soft shells. Oh gosh, they're huge. Oh my they're gosh. Like that big. Finessing the garbage. There was one in the canal today. I just saw. Really? Yeah, he was they're being horny up people there. People eat them down here, actually. What? They make soup. That doesn't surprise her. What the? Doesn't get not? eaten down here. But I see. I, I think I saw a guy earlier just eat someone's cat. No, he was. He had a he had a uh, pickaxe and a shovel. Is that cat right there? Uh, did you see that? That's hey. a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Might be, bro. I haven't even had a bite yet. <laughs> do do you any of the do you know any of the food markets down here that have like turtles and stuff in them? Yes, like you right, do. Yes, bro. I should have asked you. Yes, bro. For that. You have my number. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> this this dude, uh, Brent, the other day went to a fish market in uh, Dallas, and he went and tried to rescue and save an octopus. Oh <laughs> my gosh! His name is Dylan. I owned an octopus. Did he die? You should have asked. So him did how so did Dylan. Like, you yeah. know, but you know why? Be, and, and and this is died. why he died because it was a rescue. This kid was keeping a mantis shrimp. <laughs> he adopted and, it. And, yes. Well, he, well, he's this this my, shout out John who literally took care of Iraq. He had aquariums that he didn't want anymore. I was like, I'll take it. He gave me a 220 gallon saltwater aquarium Gosh. with a blue and yellow cod, giant green moray eel, emperor snapper, panther grouper. He gave me another aquarium which was home to a, uh, a peacock mantis shrimp and this octopus. And if you look up oh, Peacock Mantis Octopus on YouTube, they are literally arch enemies of each other. So oh. they were, into, they were in the bro, same clo- like the they were together. fighting one day, and the octopus inked all over the aquarium. I was like, holy! <laughs> I, I I I took out the mantis shrimp. I threw him in the stump of the 220 gallon, and I was praying to God that he doesn't punch through the the <laughs> little aquarium that I just threw him in <laughs> underneath of it. And so I, once I separated them, once I separated them. It, it really brought his personality out. It was actually super cool. <laughs> he came to life. No, I, I, he took out his when, 
When that worst octopus died, bro, enemies. I was genuinely sad, bro. Like I, I, I was. You know, some people said sad, they, they were here before us. I will never eat an octopus, bro. Like, cause, Call, because what, what, did he have it? What was squid? his name? Oh, his name? Yeah, Beethoven. Damn. Yeah, I actually forgot what his name was. But shout out you, bro. You were a real pet. <laughs> but no, dude. Beethoven's looking at you from the. He's like, damn, fuck you, bitch. No, I, I He's like, thanks for putting me with that f- ass mantis shrimp, you prick. <laughs> like, you literally my least favorite <laughs> friend in the ocean. Like, you the ocean stuck is me with trillions of gallons, and I was so far away from this. F- and some guy put me in the same goddamn forty gallon tank, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like fifteen, twenty gallon. <laughs> yeah, like y'all, y'all picked us out from different parts of the world and just had to put us together. Like I appreciate that, <laughs> you Ryan. But thanks, man. Thanks for the fucking pod shout out. You know that that actually leads me to a great question. How is your relationship with Nick Bingo at all? Um, just got a blue lobster. I don't, I, I don't know what Nick is up to. Because really. you, you guys used to film a lot. No, yeah. So, like, we used to film a lot, and you know Nick's personality. I, I, I don't want to say anything bad about him. But, like, I just, you know, like, we're not really, like, like we don't really hang out or anything. And it's not just because I don't, it's not because I, I dislike him. I just, I'm really busy with my own stuff. He's doing his own thing. I have a very small group of people that I consider my friends, which is probably, like, three or four people. Yeah. And that's my, my circle. And like, it's I just I'm busy, dude. Like, uh, you know, he does hit me up, like, dude, be a character in my videos, like this and that. And like, I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm kind of not that like that anymore. I don't like to to be a goofball. Like, that's not what I enjoy doing. I I'm a diehard fisherman. That's the content I like to make. But I have nothing against Nick. I I wish him well. But I don't know what he's up to at all. Gotcha, gotcha. No, I just wanted to hear mm-hmm. your side. Yeah, oh, like I, I'm cool with Paul. I'm cool with Nick. I'm, I I don't talk cool to with Paul. Really? Paul Cabrera? Just kind of playing. Oh. <laughs> Paul's a sweetheart. He's a great guy. I love Paul, love man. Paul. Shout out to Paul, man. Um, I had a question for you, and this kind of maybe bleeds into what you were just talking about. Um, but so are you cir- circum? What <laughs> circum? Well, <laughs> is that what we were asking? Do we have proof? I want to see a picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brent, for. That whole thing up, just saying, are you yeah. the, the, the flow, man? Is just on, bro. Thank you oh, so much. But real quick, because I think I think people are super curious. I want to hear, and I'm curious. I want to hear your top three fish for 2023. Do you oh do, yeah, do yours, though? I did mine. My yeah. mine. You literally is, named them. Oh yeah, yeah, GT, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot what I said. Arapaima on fly for sure. GT. I'm actually the, the going Bear to. Monday site I'm fishing. going to the Amazon the end of January. It's already booked. You're back, baby. Dude, I'm a freaking out. You're ready, Brazil. And I'm going to get a uh, 20 pounder on this trip, bro. Are you going to Brazil or Colombia? No, I'm going to Colombia again. Oh, get I'm ready, the, Colombia. I'm fishing the Rio Tomo. Mm. When I went last time, I missed two over 20 because they were they were paired up. It was the coolest thing, dude. L- imagine. It's crazy how, how rare the 20 pounders have gotten. I mean, it used to be when they started doing e- exploratory trips like 30 years ago to the Amazon. Like, it was very, very frequent common for guys to catch 21, 20. Yeah. What's a world record? Is it 22? 25. Um, so, crazy. speaking of world record, something cool, not to like to boast or anything, but this year I actually caught a world record I saw fish. That. Yeah. Um, it was an accident. It was Carper croaker? It was. It was a carpet cooker. Dude, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> no, we were in Mexico. We were slow pitch jigging in like 900, 800 feet of water. My first, like oh, literally, literally, yeah, you awful. have to hand crank for a world oh, record. I didn't yeah. even know we were trying to break them, but but I'm sitting on the plane next to my buddy George. He whips out this IGFA book, and, and he's like opening it up and showing me, and, and that kind of sparked my interest of, of doing that. What was the fish again? It was a uh, star-studded grouper. Okay. It was like... I can't even tell you the weight. I think it was 34 pounds. Yeah. But literally, we got off the plane, to the, straight to the marina. Was this the goal in mind? To I didn't know it was the goal. It? Oh, okay. Well, really? Yeah, I didn't even know. And like, you it did it. an accident. It, uh-huh. it's, a, it's a crazy thing. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Wow. And my first drop, bro. I'm jigging for about <laughs> 10 minutes. You know, keeping. Let me just drop. jigging. Quick catch my, my record. My first drop in Mexico, that was, the, that was the biggest fish that I caught that entire that entire trip, I actually tied the record with another angler who lives huh. in Mexico. He was he was he was the one that uh, he didn't take us out, but he's a good friend of my buddy George, and it was like a group of five of us jigging, and um, we tied that record. So wow. yeah, jigging with cool. George, there you go. That's awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah. Didn't you so, get another one? Do you have two or one? No, just, just one. one. I actually have one probably unofficial that I got on my last Columbia trip. It's a Jammu or a Trinksa. They're basically a giant, I, don't, I can't hear, like a giant Tetra. Really? Imagine it, it, it was a nine, and they're a nine pounder, the most delicious fish I've ever had in my life, bro. Oh, you ate them? Not not the delicious fish I've ever had in my life. Freshwater. Oh, I, I water. could say for sure. We ate a ton of fish on that trip, like, like over the fire overnight. We would wrap them up in banana leaves and just let them freaking get. Yeah. Were the bugs bad them. out there? Yeah. The bugs are horrible. Yeah, but I saw, I'm sorry. I, I kind of cut you off on your. No, you're cool. I, I listen. Mine aren't that crazy either. I um. The problem with me is three is not enough. Yeah. That's tough. That's tough for me. I think you know. And if you know, I see you like want to go like crazy this year on like cool trips yeah. and if, yeah. y'all, if y'all allow me to go on a tangent, man. I mean, I go, no, dude. I want to hear it. Yeah, one, I was saying one, that. one is one that I have already tried to attempt that I still. I mean, I, when I posted the video and I attempted, I thought <gasps> for sure it would have been taken from me. It was the uh, Greenland shark through the ice. I I don't know why no Holy one's done crap. that. So it's it, it it's a it's wow. a okay. It's a it's a it's a shark it's big. a shark that have you guys heard of that through the ice. Yeah. That's I've never even ice fish. A little. Uh, uh, are they the sharks that eat the salmon? You're thinking of salmon sharks. That's okay. in Alaska. Okay. They're they're no they they don't like freeze like that salt water doesn't freeze Greenland over there. Greenland shark. Greenland shark are in Greenland. You Pull can find picture. them. In, you can yeah. find them in bays. We'll post a picture maybe. Hopefully, Caleb, you're editing this. Post a picture of a Greenland shark just for reference because not too many people know of them. Uh, somewhat I think Nat Geo or National Geographic. Or, yeah, that's Nat Geo, right? National Geographic Discovery did a piece on these fish. Uh, when I heard about them, like that was in- was insane, and I did research on them. You would like to catch no that? No way, dude. So, so here's here's how it works, and here's how it almost worked. And I almost I'm almost tempted to say this for another podcast, dude. That's insane. But this is a Christmas special, so we'll just we'll holy let it roll. crap. So, Whoa. um, so the deal with those fish is, and I might be butchering this, but for the most part, the majority of them are blind because a natural parasite attaches to their eyes. Just, wow, that just, sucks. Just, just that's just how evolution works. Wow. Like dealt with a, a sad fate. The, 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 normally, they wouldn't be blind if it weren't for this parasite. So this parasite attached to their eyes. They're blind pretty much their whole lives. Their whole life. They live because their metabolism is so slow. Because they're always constantly in cold water. Um, they live to be hundreds of years old. Wow. They also wow. have a uh, antifreeze. Um, element to their like their 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 body i don't know if it's a blood it might be in their blood probably insanely slow heart rate like just like but they have to have antifreeze because i mean they'll quite blubber is not enough in other words like fat fatty tissue and they don't eat as much as you think and they're, they're milling around at the bottom what I mean, do they what's that that was like, yeah what is their forage? so so their forage is um base they're, they're they're very much i think a scavenger based fish and when wow. i went and planned this trip so that the idea was and i came <laughs> Very, very close to making this happen. I had a, uh, what, like a 100 size Tiagra, I believe. You, no you, way. Like a uh-huh, mega uh-huh. I still have dude. two. I've got two of them. I have not, they've uh, never been. 130 touched. Tiagra? Or maybe eight? a 130. That's a big one. Real. And I've seen a picture with, of one of those. I've, I've never seen one. In, I've never seen one in person. Like, it was spooled with, uh, it was big. It was like huge. It's a huge reel. I saw it at my parents' place. Spooled with um, color. Uh, what is it? Color core? What is it called? Like, like color. So like, you know how much yes. it changes every like 20 meters. Yeah. Like, so I know how deep I am. Yeah. So I, I had to put, so it's required to put, I think like two, oh, I might be talking on my ass, but 1500 meters. Oh, oh yeah. So what pound are you running? Like, hundred. Hundred. Yeah. Is it really thin diameter? Hundred. Like I remember when I bought it cause they had to do it because the fish were so, the fish down there are so deep. That's I might crazy. be talking to my ass. Am I, uh, those numbers might not. Do you not have to use like a, like a light underwater that blinks or anything? Or no, it's like okay, it's like, uh, it's like sword fishing it's because it's a shark. So and you're catching it through the ice. Oh, this dude. is this is the this is, blind, yeah. this is the goal. So before I took this trip, I bought all this gear, I bought all these hooks. This is the guy who's caught maybe a couple of sharks too. So I'm in Illinois. I'm, I'm planning on this trip, and I'm I'm reaching out to a bunch of these old outfitters, and all these outfitters were out of business. But they all respond, which is cool, and they all respond saying that we don't run business anymore. We've been out of business for decades now. But here's what we can, you know, refer you to, and all, and it just kind of led up to this this moment where I was like, I was like, okay, 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 and then I finally got a hold of someone. I got a f- hold of someone who lives full time in Greenland. Now, if you don't know what Greenland looks like, take a look on the map. Tell me how many different towns, cities, WalMarts, Jewel Osco's, Kroger's you see in in Greenland. And it is, it is, the last place that you'd. But it's one of the 
best places and one of the only places where you can catch these sharks with the ice. So I'd seen a picture or an article, a video of someone catching these sharks with the ice and very much a popular thing. Folks from Iceland or Norway would come over and plan a trip. This was like their thing. So I flew, I took a flight from ORD Chicago to Iceland, stayed in Iceland for a day. It was with my buddy Chris Buell, uh, who, oh, yeah. who was actually actually starting to make videos again. So shout out to Chris. Yeah, that's cool. I'm happy like you're doing videos. that again. So we went and stayed in Iceland for a bit. Attempted, I think, two or three times to land a plane, a prop plane into Greenland. Struck out uh, all three times. Could not land the plane physically. But prior, I had been communicating with a Greenland what? native who had had to have shot in order to catch these sharks. He shot a seal. Yeah. Had the blubber prepared. We were ready to go. Dude. He had, he had, we were, we were going to take, uh, I think we were taking out, like, a, like, snow dogs out to the spot. And they were going to no. cut a huge hole oh in the ice. Oh, my gosh. That is insane. And the whole, the whole. It's a I, mission. I, I'm just, the, the thought of this experience and this video, I'm just following it a bit. And we stayed four days in Iceland. I spent $10,000 in Iceland sitting in this kind of purgatory period before we could even get to Greenland, which we never ended up being able to get to. They ended up canceling the whole – they ended up canceling all the charters and flights to Greenland that whole month. Flying over Greenland, there's these huge mountains. Like, think of, like – I've never seen Game of Thrones, but, like, think of, like, the landscape <laughs> Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones. Yeah. Like, absolutely unbelievable. And it's, like, one of the most unbelievable places I've ever been that I've never actually gotten a chance to touch down in. And we're no swooping way. down, and there's, like – what looks to me like to be a foot of snow on the runway, and he just pulls up, and you're just like the whole fucking plane's rattling, and you're just scraping right above these mountains, and you just pull. So around. you did this? You're That's like, nuts. Twice we did that. Twice we went hovered over the the uh, the runway and couldn't land. So you never got a line wet. Never got a line wet. Long story short, to sum it up, that's one of them. Greenland shark, I'd love to come back. I can't believe nobody saw that video and thought I'm gonna f- do this before this idiot does it. No one's done it. And I, I, I love to do, do that. It. I love to get a good crew to do it. That the would be is, awesome. Is you've got to fly from Iceland. And if you get stuck in Iceland, holy f- you're spending money. It is such an expensive place to vacation yeah. or whatever. Unless so, we come along, we can split it. Even if you split it, man, it's, it is it, like you don't realize how expensive it is. Iceland? Iceland, I think, is the most expensive. Like their their currency to what ours is. What is oh, that, that's it's what it does. Oh, oh no way. Insane. Yeah, yeah. Like, Jeez. it's $11 their one or something like that. Uh, like, it's, it, I might be what? talking about it. It's, it's, I, I'm telling you, I spent $10,000 just in Iceland, just trying, like, through the flights and food and the rental car and where we that's stayed. Why I love hotel. What, what is it like so there? It's be- it is beautiful. Iceland is gorgeous. I mean, we did, we stayed in, like, the hot springs for a little, because we tried to make the most of us. So, yeah. after we got off our flight, we went to gonna do so we went to these hot these natural hot springs we saw i got a hilarious picture of chris and i dressed in like these icelandic um sweater vests and there's like a geyser going off in the back we had to wait 40 minutes in the freezing <laughs> cold way. for this geyser to That's come awesome. off it comes That's off every sick. 40 minutes it, it, it was it was a cool trip and i wouldn't have it any other way but i'd like to go back and finish that off it's unfinished business yeah That's you gotta sick. do that That's, yeah another That's one awesome. would, which would be cool is uh yellow cheek have you heard of those? Um, are those they? Are? Do they look like permit with the yellow on top of them? They they look a lot like. Um, th- there's a fish in the Amazon we caught a lot of. They look like they're goofy looking fish. They get big. Uh, yellow huge dude. Like you want to clap foot, the yellow foot. cheeks? That's no, yeah. I, I want to clap some yellow. Whoa! Cheeks. Oh, what? Whoa, wait, heck, wait. What? Oh my god! Have you ever seen this guy, bro? Zhang Li. Yeah. That I know that so he he films videos. They look like a bakuda. Yeah, bakuda. Yes, that's Dude, exactly what they look like. Is Why? is that a bakuda? Giant, no, they're they're in Asia. They're in China. Imagine if this guy kept posting and knew what he was doing. Oh so, my god! His videos. That's how I found out. So Gong Li, shout out to Gong Li. Gong Li's if, a go. If you fan. watch Gong Li's videos, you know of Yellow Cheek, and that that's is that's like his favorite thing to target. What? Dude, those, look at those, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they remind me of a tiger fish. Oh. You know what they remind me of is a dorado and a. Bakuda. Oh, they look just like a dorado. I yeah. caught some Dorado this year too. That was fun. I want to. I want to do that again in Bolivia. Golden Dorado. That's something. A race. One of the fish that I caught. I want to go to Bolivia and fish those crystal clear little streams on the fly and catch those Dorado, bro. Those golden yeah. Dorado. It is so picturesque. Yeah. Such a cool place. I have to do that. Yeah. Dorado. Dorado's on my list too. And like I said, I'm try- it's hard to keep it to to three. Yeah. So you should watch a video. You've seen the videos. In- hooking up to those right uh they go they yeah, go oh, dude they're nuts they, they go you wouldn't yeah. think a fish looks like that goes that insane we good okay uh, i'll just end it with this um i think number three would probably have to be just i've already done it but i want to want a big one it's like a 
hundred and ten pound GT. Just like a yeah, I, I would love to do just a hundred pound GT is a like week trip of just just every day, every grind. day I catch an eighty pound or up GT, like at least one. Just I would love. To, there's there's no pound better GT feeling insane. than coming off of reeling that thing, getting into the boat, putting your lap with a towel towel on your knees. Taking the pictures, dude. I want to do reviving it and then putting it back in the water. Like I want to do the release and just jump in with him, dude. You, oh, you man. feel you feel <sighs> like you've just had the best nut. Of, uh, yeah, really. It, but it lasts. That would, that's a nice feeling. It's the only thing that I can compare it, I to. Can't best. I, I've dude. thought about. Or insane. I think the coolest part to me, at least like watching videos about it, is the ripping like the popper. Yeah, it, the, it's, the whole process. It's I mean, so nuts. Is, it's like. Boof, 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 yeah. boof. And they just like annihilate it. Big big rod. I love big, that. Big current washes. You're fishing 14, big giant. Fourteen thousand saltigas. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Stellas. And, and where you're at is, like you said, that's off the island of Komodo, isn't that? Different places. I mean, there you can go to Oman. You can go to. I mean, I've we, seen Australia. It, it's such a common place. <laughs> Hang on. You know, you know what's funny is I, I got off TikTok because I thought that uh, because it's, China's it's stealing my about, data. No, it's no. About to, I mean, they said this before. It's not that. It's it's it, it, it was. Well, yeah, okay, I'm getting to that. So I got off TikTok because it was, it was, it was too. I felt as if, I mean, there'd be times where I'd be, I'd have, we'd have a good day and I'd have fun and I'd get hungover or whatever. Long story short, I just sit there on the couch and just watch it for four hours. I'm like, yeah, this it's, is it's too bad. addicting. It's bad. But Instagram's getting to the point where it's so f- good that it's filling that void in which I used to. It's crazy how. So I gotta get rid of Instagram uh-huh. now. To I gotta get, it, like I gotta that. get rid of Instagram. I gotta get off social media. Period. And, but, but I the, felt that. I'm, I'm, I've deleted all the I'm apps before be because less of, of that reason. Consumer. Did you really? Yeah, I've deleted TikTok. I've deleted Instagram because I've been on them too much. You Instagram? Yeah, dude. I deleted Instagram for uh, for like, like a the... month. And the only way I would post would I I would either have it logged in on like an iPad or something to post oh, nice. something. Or I would, and then you could do it on, yeah, my, Kindle. my my Kindle or my Amazon Fire Stick, I'd plug it into the TV. <laughs> you like, I type it in <laughs> on your remote. I'm like, I, I have to, like, email it to the server. <laughs> but no, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, TikTok I had to delete, bro, because I, so bad. I saw I was spending, like, eight hours a day on oh, the yeah. app, so and the, the majority yeah. of it would oh be God. at night just laying in bed. So and that's why I'm like, I'm not waking are... up in the... Thirst traps. Not to sound like not to s- I can't. Bro. And it'll so appeal bad. to. You. I mean, it'll, I'm a single man, like uh, whatever. But like, it'll mm-hmm. appeal to your interests so, uh, like, dude, it, they're they're addictive and it is addictive. It like is you addictive. said, the algorithm. But you know what is really cool about TikTok, and kind of it's a double edged sword because anybody can be a creator. Oh god. I mean, yeah. the amount of people that have made it because of TikTok, especially musicians, like like that Bon Jovi mm-hmm. kid, for example, and like I mean, even even myself, like I, it's. Not like I've made a ton of money off of it, but like it it's definitely I've had YouTube videos go viral because of a TikTok that I post. I literally yeah. posted YouTube. Uh, yep. It tanks, for example, on my one of my videos, Baby Bird, rescuing a baby bird. I posted the TikTok, it went super viral, and the YouTube video on the back end looks like this when I posted it. Like like literally below average and then whoop, Cause the tech, you saw people come from TikTok. One hundred percent. Yeah, I got it came and so it, it is it can be used as a it's helpful, but you know, for me, dude, it's like I don't even really want to put put time into it. Instagram Reels has been my focus for vertical, but and nice. it pays more too. So yeah, well, it pays period. Yeah, for the most part. But I guess uh, bringing back to that Gordon Ramsay thing, Gordon Ramsay follows me on TikTok, which is kind of cool. One day I was scrolling I on my for you page and it said follow back Gordon Ramsay. It's like what you the know he hell? Fo- he follows you. Do you know um I don't know if you know uh, Elliot at Sharks. Yes, he's a good friend of mine. I don't know good you, enough you job fished with him in him. the West Coast. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't keep up to date with him enough, but he follows him too. And really? I say he follows both of you guys. That's like, crazy. That is because f- likes nuts. to fish. Wow. We should take him fishing. That's awesome, Gordon. I think he, do I think he? Let's go fishing. Me? I think he follows me too. No way. No. No. <laughs> Gordon. No, come, he doesn't. <laughs> Gordon, go to Iceland and, and cook up a Greenland shark. Yeah, but dude, the play if you bit if you I'm went sure to he's that, done so it. we went to we went to this <laughs> sure we went to this place in that. Greenland. I mean, you just saw like a in Ramsey's video. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So have you tried reaching out to him at all? I haven't. I haven't. But I think the avenue would be TikTok for sure. Another cool thing, like, so I have a would picture. Would you be afraid he'd call you a wanker? I, I was hoping an idiot sandwich. I'd hope that he'd smush two loaves like of bread that. in between. You f- head filet. <laughs> you f- head fish filet. <laughs> you idiot sandwich. <laughs> you hunt croissant. <laughs> so something really cool. I have a picture as a baby of Dwayne the Rock Johnson holding me in Cheesecake Factory. What? Yes. What? I'm not even kidding you, bro. I'm not even kidding you. 
Bro, I have dreams about this after we'll smoking pop it weed. Up. We'll pop it up right here. I have dreams about shit like this happening <laughs> when I'm high. <laughs> I fall asleep. Wait, can you say that one more time? Just make sure I heard it. So right. Dwayne The Rock Johnson held me when I was a baby. At where? Cheesecake Factory. My dad, shout out to my dad. So it was my dad and my mom and me and Cheesecake Factory. And basically, it's when he played for the Hurricanes football. The, oh, the, wow. So Hawaii? way back, yeah. before the fame. Uh, I mean, he was making a name for himself like, in was college football. Was he just football. grabbing children? Was this his thing? <laughs> so basically, <laughs> take this my, kid, dad, Dwayne. my dad, <laughs> you know, he's like, he's like, hey, Dwayne, like, like, can you take a picture with me and my son? Sure. So Dwayne is holding me. He's holding my little hand like this. That's it's insane. epic. And I'm wearing like some aviator glasses. Like a yeah. Freaking, it's sick. So I was thinking about making some sort of crazy video. Like, Absolutely like I should. opened my eyes. And it's like that picture everywhere. And basically the premise would be to take him fishing and recreate that picture. I love that. He's an angler. That would be awesome. He's an angler. He's an angler. Yeah. He's yeah, he an angler. loves bass fishing. And I, and I think that. Yeah, he does. That him and Chris Pratt. It's insane yeah, Chris that Pratt. no yeah. one's ever taken him fishing. I, but, you know, so that would be something crazy. Bro, I think if you're Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he's taking you fishing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> even if I want to put you, on even a big you, Even if you know more about fishing. He's just going to be the one taking oh, you fishing. Oh, for sure. I want to fish his pond, dude. That, that's some, some yeah, heat. That's, that's cool. It's so, it, it is so wholesome when he posts those videos. Uh, yeah. Or he's is. just out there throwing a sp- – I'm like, this is a guy that is – he is the highest paid male actor, and he is – He is him. Getting but hyped over the same – that any of I, us. I love I'm like, doing that. I'm like, I'm like this, is, this is a human being that I hope doesn't have any controversy because he's the most – loved he's like he's like the most loved like uh you know that would i would say like star or, or yeah. you know just you know person of influence like of the highest degree because you know everyone's got a little bit of controversy oh uh-huh. even chris pratt like someone like that people got pissed at chris pratt for doing he, you know he's he very much leans towards the right and you know I, I necessarily don't have a problem with that but you just you know whatever but like someone like dwayne the rock johnson has anyone ever brought anything up about that individual who's like who 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 says like this guy doesn't deserve what he has or you know he, he yeah. comes from humble beginnings yeah bro uh, you know he caters to like the outdoor aspect like, and, uh, and he's he a good actor he caters to all audiences good, in, good movies like yeah. nah, I mean the guy's yeah, no. kind of f- easy to like yeah There's, that's a rare instance especially nowadays where you say I mean <laughs> you say something wrong especially on this podcast talk about f- cancel fuel like you just I've said some. Sh- they like you could take out of context. Oh uh, yeah, I and, mean people clip everything nowadays. Yeah, so that's prime nuts. example. Andrew Tate, like like that guy gets clipped so much, and he's really not all that bad. Like he has a really cool outlook on a lot of things. Well, I think a lot of it is he, just it, he just he knows what he's doing. He's, yeah, if you feel in order to feel the fire, you get you know you get things wrong. You oh, know, what yeah. I mean, I just I don't I don't know if it's necessarily the best approach, but it is an approach that works. So like, how can you hate someone for doing yeah. that? Yeah, literally. You know? And everyone's different. I mean, that's the same thing. I mean, literally like the, you can't really judge anyone, especially based on how they think about other things. I mean, yeah, I mean, I that's, still, that's I a still huge part of listen, it. bro. I still listen to, you know, I, I, Kesha. I still listen to bound. I still listen to, um, Kesha. I like Kanye. He's cool. Oh God. Well, all right. Well, Kanye's <laughs> so goaded, bro. But like, what are you doing? Like now, nah, man, come on. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, bro. He, he's, he's, I feel bad for him. I feel like he's a very sad individual. Uh, originally, I was like, oh, okay, like, I, you know, he's doing him. And then he kept doing him. Yeah. And I was like, oh. It's bad now. Some like, people lose their mind. But, I mean, I'm not going to stop listening to the music. Ever I don't since. Go f- oh, I, his music is oh yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, if you I can't. don't listen to the music, it's not going to. I don't care, bro. Like, Gold Digger, Heartless, like, all that, dude, I mean. What does blow my mind is he had gotten some type of certificate or maybe a degree from somewhere, and it was revoked after all this happened. The school came back and and took it away from him. He's a dropout, d- 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 yeah. Um. It, it was like I said, it was some type of certificate or maybe okay. a degree. Okay. Didn't his and bank, like cancel his accounts and everything. But or? like, there's people who are like serial killers, they beat his and, and, and they're not like schools and yeah. colleges aren't like, oh, we're moving your bachelor's degree. Like, the, is you just go to prison, right? But, like, if yeah, this pretty, person I'm of pretty, influence does it... Yeah, going back, I think I'm pretty sure Dahmer is still college-educated. You know? that, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's <laughs> fine. <laughs> killing people. Oh, my God. But, but that, no, no. <laughs> honestly, like, I don't want to take this turn, but that is honestly f- wild because here is someone... You know, I'm not I'm not going to bat for Kanye. That's... uh, You know, I like his music, but that's about it. <laughs> he said some really gnarly sh- And here is someone who acted upon 
those you know he let those intrusive thoughts kind of take a hold jeffrey dahmer and uh we made a netflix series about him yeah and, and it was very much an idolized i mean people forget that that that, that was another real, thing real bro that was real people were like oh this was a great show was it a great show for the people the, that I- yeah, I, 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 I had a hard time watching it because I knew it was Damn, bro. Dude. I know I, I I couldn't do it. Damn. Like that's I mean if we imagine if we made imagine if all, there was a film made of your biggest f- mistakes and people were like this was so good. I enjoyed this. I think it's bro, just Bro, like or not mistake. I'm not saying Jeffrey Dahmer's sh- mistake. My, 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 the one I'm trying to no, emphasize on like the the worst part of you as a human being. Imagine if someone made a series about that and that is what you were highlighting about. And another about. thing too it's like nuts. a movie that I really love just because like how it's filmed and is the joker and mm-hmm. like dude uh-huh. in that with fil- walking phoenix yes that one? Yeah. In, in that in in that film bro it's like you feel you, you have empathy for the, the joker because like of how like society but he's a piece of shit, though yeah bro but but like was dealt the wrong cards i'm playing i'm, I'm playing both sides yeah yeah no for sure i, I feel the way you're feeling you know, too, yeah i mean yeah. also he's killing people and stuff but like dude like like so yeah you know yeah but yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> 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 There's Brent. Like, like, so like, like, wrench in the conversation. I can hold it, bro. Oh my gosh, man. No, let's not get too serious. But yeah, I agree. I mean, I don't know how we got on the topic, but it is wild how like I have pe- no idea how we got turn, here. People turn. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny, bro. bro you're like Kanye t- and Jeffrey Dahmer were talking about GTS. <laughs> I think the the Dwayne the Rock Johnson GD's thing. Out. Oh, sorry. I think you said GDs. My bad. <laughs> my bad. Or oh, that's JD. My bad. I'm stupid. I was thinking JD and GTS. Close, but no. I'm sorry. Did you sell feet pics? I did. How much did you make on that? Uh, I think I made about seven grand off my feet <laughs> pictures. No way. I, but I sold physical copies. I printed, the, I printed them at Walmart. And Off of your feet. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Why am I on TikTok, I still, bro? I still have some in my drawer, and every once in a while, I'll occasionally hand them out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to send you some. That's literally what they're for, I'm is to hand out to people. I'm going to tag them across like, places. Like, the next time I go to Columbia, your foot. <laughs> Like an old or old building, uh, old building that's like remembered. I'm literally and, gonna do that. Yeah, as I was saying, you just strap it on there. Nursing home, boom. Uh-huh. Elementary school, <laughs> boom. <laughs> Car windshield, uh, that's a good place. Boom. To Lamborghini, boom. boom. Mm-hmm. I'll give you one, John. Uh, I know you're talking about how you want. That's crazy. That I got man. infinity feed picks today, bro. Yeah, it's all good. We're chilling. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. But I mean, listen. I want just want to say thank you for coming down, sitting with us. Yeah, this was the, our Jeff longest episode. Sli- second second guest. Yeah, second guest. Such a good time. Thank you guys for having me, man. Yeah, man. This is one Hopefully of my favorite pods, for sure. Thank you for, for sharing a sliver of your mind and what's going on with your life. And uh love to have you back on again. Absolutely. I would do, I mean, guys. I was, today I was around fishing. I'm like, Dad, can I live here? And there was a part of me I was like, I think I could do it. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I think yeah. I could do it. Y'all got to stop that hurricane, though. We're, we're just sitting chill. ducks. Yeah, we're, we're trying. We're sitting ducks, man. No, but how do we stop that? There's, there, we're just going to get wiped out eventually, yeah. like like Hurricane Ian did to the West Coast. Absolutely horrible. It's going to happen to us. Yeah. But, That's good. You fortunately, gotta knock, knock it off, Mother Nature, yeah. Knock it off, man. It's not yep. us. Let's just keep catching big fish and, and doing what we love. In, in the meantime, I'll contemplate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it. Be sure to check out Ryan's new content it's new it's fresh it's yep. fresh it's, good. it's it, only it, gonna it, get better and it, and, it, and, it, and it is breathing life into youtube it is that pure opinion, meat that's what it is it needs to something be, to be to be breathed into yeah for sure uh, no if you guys have yet to follow us on instagram we're posting behind the scenes stuff on there yeah. and uh moments in which might not make the podcast maybe did but just kind of probably shouldn't thing. have for good reason <laughs> you can see them there but yeah all of all of your stuff will be linked brother awesome thank you guys for yeah. having me man All right. Happy post-Christmas. Happy. Merry Christmas. Yeah. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Yeah. See you guys. Peace.